Go to YMHVirtual.com right now and get tickets to the third YMH Live. Crazy guests and crazier content. I've never understood the foot thing. Uh, why? I've just never been on board with it. I felt like at one point in my life that you turn a certain age and that's when the foot switch goes off. Like uh, golfers and shit. Golfers? <laughs> yeah. Golfers. Like dads who go golfing, they're like, oh man, look at those feet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome, welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $225 off any mattress of your choice. We're big, big fans here. The whole staff has Sattva mattresses. We've had them all. The the luxury firm line, that ha- that's like the, the mattress you'd find at a luxury hotel. It's absolutely fantastic. It's made by Sattva. They have a memory foam line called Loom and Leaf. We also have had that one. That's incredible. If you like memory foam, it's the way to go. Environmentally friendly products, award-winning customer support. These guys do mattress takeaway service. They do it all. And now we are actually sleeping on a Solaire. And that's the mattress that sits up and lays down, has zero gravity setting, has a vibration setting. It's incredible. They're all great. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit. Get $225 off any mattress of your choice. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you are listening or watching your mom's house news network for Christina P. I'm Tom Segura. It's 63 degrees outside. <laughs> Um, Trump 2024, guys. Tw- yep, the re-election campaign. Here we go. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I am hung over from all the election talk. I'm exhausted. It is exhausting. It is exhausting. And I'll, the last four years have been exhausting. Oh my um, God. I kind of, you know, <laughs> I told someone the other day, I feel like for four years, Game of Thrones has been on 24-7. <laughs> and now some of us are like, can we watch C-SPAN for a while? Can we watch something Can boring? I just watch God. Uh, the House floor debate a bill about, <laughs> know. you know, windmills? I know. I just want to watch an episode of like the Kardashians. But I just want to be brainless. For here's a what I am excited about. And huh. like, the, you know, it, it's over. OK, the elections. Are, I mean, there's a dollar. There's no, who, Tom, they're suing. Okay. They're recounting okay. fraud. All right. Those, those people are fun. But. <laughs> You know, here in the real world where it's over, uh, I am excited in a, and kind of nervous about the next 70 days of like what Trump might do. He's so untraditional. Like he's that's a nice so, way of putting it. <laughs> untraditional. He's so not like Unhinged. anybody else. And he's so pissed off that he. <laughs> you might wake up one morning and they'll go, hey, you know, there was an earthquake in uh, Nevada last night pretty significant and then 90 minutes later they're like no no uh trump test a nuke he dropped a he <laughs> no, dropped no, a he hydrogen didn't. bomb and we'll be like what the fuck and by the way as crazy as that sounds if that really happened you'd be like i could see that happening i could see it happening like, he might fire his whole cabinet oh, and just God. staff it with north koreans <laughs> and he'll be like fuck it i like the guy so he sent over some of his cousins. You think and, you think he could do that much damage in the next seven? He might. Days? It's not that even uh, yes, but Anger also damage. it's like it's um, it might not even be lasting damage. I think it's a big like yeah, it's a big fuck you. He's gonna burn. It's like when there's you gonna get, be some crazy like, shit that it's happens. It's like when you get fired. And I am here for it. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> I am here yeah. for whatever he does. It's like when you get fired from a job, you can either leave quietly or you yeah. can burn the building down on your way out. Yeah. I'm guessing he's going to do the latter. Yeah, he's not going to be like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I want what's best. So here you... No way. Do you think he's going to throw a party, like a huge party, and he trash might, the White House before he leaves? You know what he might do? He might be like, you know, um, <laughs> so there's a uh, hundred guys on death row in Florida. <laughs> I just let them out. <laughs> yeah. We're going to release Fuck them it. on the Democrats. Yeah, he might do some crazy shit. And how soon before Melania files for divorce? Is that happening now? Oh, that's a good question. She is no. Out. She'll she'll she'll. It's part of the agreement. The agreement's probably like you got to ride it out until the, the bitter end. But she you know, she got a bump she, when he got elected. Oh, I bet. 
Is that true? That's, Do you really know that's that? What, yes, that's why she didn't go to DC. If you remember back in 2016, they're like, she's still in New York. And she was renegotiating <laughs> the prenup. That's hilarious. Yeah. So, so she's got, but I'm sure a provision of that is like, you can't split C's right away. You know? Yeah, I bet, but she's counting these 70 days down. She's probably like, we're out, oh, Barrett and yeah, I, we're back in New course. York, well, we're she shopping never wanted again. This. She, did you ever hear, there's a great audio uh, she was uh, one of her close confidants. Yeah, recorded, recorded the call. Yeah. And she goes, she just goes, I do Christmas. I fucking hate Christmas. I, I don't like, want to I decorate. Like her for that. I, I like, like her, her that. too. Because if I was the first lady, I'd be like, I fucking hate decorating. <laughs> no, the way. Well, she said they always. They, everybody's criticizing me. She's right. They're yeah, just yeah. Thro they're throwing her to She's the She's like, walls. look, I'm just a hot whore. Yeah. From the fucking from eastern europe yeah i came here to suck and fuck an old rich guy yeah and now i gotta decorate this <sighs> huge house i don't want to do this shit but i will give credit to americans because they don't shit on her they're for some reason she's become exempt and i think it's because we sympathize everybody sympathizes with melania i don't know that the, I, I agree with you really i feel no though, i feel I don't that think people, people take it easy on her no i don't think so you think they shit on her hard yeah oh uh, i don't i don't get that yeah, well, yeah, they do. They well, definitely do. Uh, maybe it's in my mind I don't shit on her hard. Yeah, I think I'm that's... I'm just projecting that onto the Americans. Yeah, people do. And I don't think they should. And by the way, I love whores. I don't think yeah. that like people are thinking that I'm trying to be disrespectful. I think whores are great. I think whores are great too, and I'll tell you why. Even that Anna Nicole Smith, everybody trashed her back in the day. But let me tell you something. You make an old man's life happy for the last year or yeah. two of his life, it's an exchange. You better yeah. pay that whore. Yeah. You better pay that Now, whore. she was going for... Way, way more than she should have to get to get something good yeah yeah, yeah. like if you come in and i'm 90 and i've got millions of dollars <laughs> it's not like yeah it's cool that i ride the wave of you know joy on your tits on the way yeah. out you're not entitled to all of it like you well, should get no. a little little piece well she's shooting for the moon to get the stars right well she you know? yeah but she was she was out of line she was out of line yeah yeah but you should pay hoes for sucking 90 year old bean bags yeah and uh, licking you know yeah. Ugh, but can he even have sex at that age yeah. you're just sitting on his lap and jiggling your tits in his face which That's is great an easy makes job. him so happy so happy yeah she was great too she was hot there there's the love of her life right there <laughs> <laughs> she's 12 years old yeah yeah i mean yeah, ugh. She was like oh you're ugh. so hot i love you so much and that ugh. guy was just like oh my god blah, blah. i mean he didn't know what room he was in sort of like the new president <laughs> all right so <laughs> how uh, scary was it to watch biden run down that that project runway what do they call it the runway yeah i was like he's gonna break yeah, like, his hip don't let him run Dude, I was so scared for him running. You know, people are just like, just, can you make it to January 20th? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to hold on for these fucking 70 days? Please. Yeah. But you know what they finally figured out hmm. is that somebody finally gave Bitey a spray tan. Oh, yeah. Because next to Trumpy, he looked so peaked yeah. and pale. And finally, Hollywood got a hold of him and made his skin tone look a little nicer on camera. Yeah. He looked a lot better when he gave his uh, victory speech. Yeah. His unofficial victory speech. I don't even know what to call it. Well, look, there's a lot to talk about here. Uh, Let's I'm open exhausted. the show. Yeah. Are you ready to open the show? I'm ready. Yeah. Let's fucking make sure this Fuck volume's the fucking. Here we go. The media said what? <laughs> the media said Joe Biden's president. Ha 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 But Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Yo, mama in the fuck is there? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your yeah. mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house.
Pretty cool video, right? Yeah, I think Rudy Giuliani did a, a version of that too, where he was like, oh, oh he was like, the media, the networks, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and did you hear the that? The media said what? The did media you, said what? And did you hear the Four Seasons foible? That is. <laughs> look, <laughs> That's the fucking if you can't thing. appreciate how funny this is, because it is obvious what happened, and I only wish we had cameras <laughs> in the White House to break this down. So just so you know, <laughs> President Trump announces after the election's been called he's like we're gonna have a press conference <laughs> at the four seasons in philadelphia a little while later he deletes that tweet and he goes it's gonna be at four seasons total landscaping <laughs> and everybody's like wait where's that well it's like outside the city it's a completely random place <laughs> and they held a press conference that his lawyers were at and Giuliani uh. held. Meantime, Four Seasons, the hotel branch goes, hey, just to be clear, this is not taking place at our location. He's going to be at Four Seasons Total Landscaping. <laughs> What's hilarious about it is you know <laughs> Trump and or somebody was like, book the Four Seasons to a lower level person yeah. to hold this press conference. You know that happened. <laughs> and then somebody realized they had booked four seasons total landscaping and then it was too <laughs> late and they were just like we just got to go with it that's the best it's part is they late. were just like i i thought it was that i booked it and they're like just hold the press conference there <laughs> hold, hold the there. press conference it's next to an adult bookstore <laughs> and across the street from like a vape shop <laughs> and then it the looks like shit. the president's personal lawyer is like here we are four seasons total <laughs> landscaping the best thing is that Four Seasons Total Landscaping put out a statement being like, like explaining the whole story. We were so happy we would have held this not a partisan thing. We, any, anybody who wants to hold a press conference here, we're happy to do it. And at the end of all that, and they go, and merch will be available on Monday. Because <laughs> everybody's like, I want some it's the best. Total Landscaping I want merch. Four Seasons Total Landscaping merch too. I know. It's I think awesome. that's amazing. So, oh, oh God. God, that was, that is just like perfect. <sighs> That what a what a weird time we live in. And then the best part is they uh, Pfizer announced that the vaccine <laughs> I know. is 90%. You know, I am not conspiracy theorist <laughs> at all, but for the election to be called and then like 2 days later, yeah. the one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world's like, "Guess what? I think the uh, <laughs> vaccine's ready to go." <laughs> You're like, "Um, okay. Look what we found. We yeah. just found this vaccine later." Oh, really? Here. The vaccine's ready? <laughs> It's a, we found the secret ingredient. It's Trump tears. Mm -hmm. Put it in here. Good Lord. It was. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. So it's been a wild, wild couple of days. I have friends um, all over the world that, and people are. This is like you have no idea. I mean, every shop, restaurant, diner basically across the world has been glued to the TV too, watching <laughs> no. this thing. They're just like, what's gonna happen, you know? <sighs> um, I know, I, my friend in Canada, Shane, was like, hey, yeah, good, congratulations. It's I the mean, end the of world the global, wanted to know. Global I mean, issue. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, some people are thrilled, some people are not. I feel like in the end, America spoke and America said. He didn't follow proto, buddy, you're done. <laughs> that's what they said. <laughs> I wish Fedspoker were part of the election. You're fired, bud. <laughs> <laughs> they let him know. You know what? They need to give they him an hour that. on CNN, and he can tell us his feelings and thoughts. President Trump, from America <laughs> to you. Ta-ta there, retard. So, <laughs> no, I realize, though, it is a divided country, and I don't think it's, um, you know, all jokes aside, like, I hope that we can move forward in a better way, you know? It's been, it's been a really intensely brewing boiling bubbling pot of emotions for the last four years and now we're here and you're like well i hope that that this guy can just cool everybody's jets a little bit i think this has i been hope a rough, rough especially this year has been rough i hope so i mean look politics aside i think uh trumpy was just his personality was so hard to deal with that, that's what a lot of people bumped up against you know yeah like i don't whatever 
You and know, like, I here's the thing. Policies aside, just just a, just stop tweeting, asshole. The tweets. Yeah, he's and not. And pushing and pushing foreign diplomats aside Jesus. and getting like the the just the nuttiness. I, I don't want any more nuttiness. There's, it's so easy to to bump up against you know that guy's entire existence, and also, you know, wondering what he'll do. It's not like he's gonna go like, well, I'm happy to retire now. Like it's it's no. not in his personality, you know. So he's gonna be everyone's talking about Trump TV. Which we I think would be great. It's great for him. Fantastic. Um, and, and I think he'd be really great at that. He's a great entertainer. Yeah. He knows I mean, how to get an audience. He's, I wonder he's great if, at that. If the news outlets will be disciplined enough to not cover everything he does after he leaves because I actually think that fuels a lot of the anger and the and the hatred is Definitely. like is like we all we do is cover everything that this one individual says and does and that definitely contributes to people being upset about him people defending him it's like if he's an ex president at this point you don't have to cover everything and leave he does him alone. and i will say um too like we never at least i never heard about the good things he did do while in office if i don't know i just don't know cuz cnn well, i don't, I don't I think actually, they covered I am embarrassed that I had no idea while I was expressing that I was not a, a supporter or a fan of his. I mean, I, I understood he held the office. I didn't dispute that, but I just wasn't into it. I didn't know he was a fan of ours. Really? I did not know this. And then it was Ugh. sent to me that President Trump was actually a big YMH fan. And oh, my God. Here's, um, here's the footage well, I feel right so here. bad now. Good, good genes, very good genes, okay? If you believe in genes, some do, some don't. Good genes, we believe in genes, right? We're allowed to say that. Do we believe in the gene thing? I mean, I do. A lot of it's about the genes, isn't it? Don't you believe? Tell me about genes. That's great, because you have good genes. Good genes. You have good genes. You have very good genes. Just remember the president, you have great genes. Good genes. You believe in genes? <laughs> He's got good genes. You have great genes. These are great women, great men. Uh, frankly, great genes. Those two young men have the greatest genes anyone's ever had. <laughs> the best genes I've ever seen. They're Thank good you. Good genes in the Pence family, don't they? You got to go with those genes. You can't get any better. Uh, Gene, this is a man of great genes. His name is Gene. He has good genes, though. You know, he's got good genes, right? And I'll tell you, she's got good genes, that I can tell you. Good genes for everything. A young man <laughs> who is born with a great gene. A man with really fantastic genes. Gotta have like the best genes in the world. Oh. Thank you. Although you had an ex-governor here that had very good genes too. Oh. We have good stuff. We have great genes in this room. Good genes. You have good genes. You have good genes. You know that, right? Amazing. Wow. Wow. Did you pledge? Did you salute him? Well, I mean, I felt bad. You know, I was like, wow, he's actually a big fan. I know. Yeah. I wasn't aware. I would have invited him on the show. Yeah. Maybe he'll come on now. Maybe he'll come on now. He's got some free time. <laughs> uh, my favorite. Um, Trump moment the last four years for sure. If you get a cough, please leave the room. <laughs> yeah, and that still stands. <laughs> I still say that to you. Yep. I like that one. If you're gonna cough, go outside. Please. Let's do that over. He's coughing. Let's do that again. He's <laughs> coughing. I love that. One. Yeah. I do respect that sentiment. I share that sentiment. Yeah. Very cool. See, we're not all divided. We're not all divided. I like some things Trump said so, and did. Let's move forward. Hold on. You gotta get the recount. <laughs> so, um. Six, dang, count, recount. Moving on. Oh, how long will Bidey live? I know that people are excited um, to to place their bets. Um, will he make it to January 20th? Will he make it to March? Jeez. Um, I don't think he lives four years. I don't think so either. I think Kamala is going to be the president very soon. And I think... Spring? I, here's what. Here's the deal. Do you know how much a presidency ages people to? I know that. I know. It's dog You look years. at any of them and you're like, Poof. Everyone look. Even Obama, who started a young man, is oh, now yeah. a, a, an old guy. Here's what I predict. Winter's going to be tough with the flus and the COVID. We're going to get through this. I predict one year and then he dies. One year of stress on that, wow. on his heart, on his body. And yeah, then, look at those. Yeah, look at these, these I know. Look at before and after presidency stuff. They, um, I know. Yeah, they always age way harder. I mean, they're so stressed. I know. They're Ob so stressed. After Obama was done being president, didn't he go on a year long vacation? Like, there's always oh, pictures yeah. of him on a jet ski for like the next three years. For sure. Yeah. For Trump, I don't know. I don't see. I mean, he does yeah. have the spray on a lot, and Trump, that's not Trump, accurate. Let's, to be, you know, Trump started 
older. I, was, I will yeah. say that they eased up on the raccoon eyes spray tan. Somebody did advise him uh, that the the, uh, the whites under. See, the, he looks a little better now. At the end? It's not so white around the eyes and then orange. You really think that was like a campaign week thing? They're like, we yes. haven't told you this for four years. Yeah. But you look insane. <laughs> yeah. With this spray shit on your face. And he's like, yeah. really? And they're like, yeah, man. You're fucking orange, dude. Take it off. And he's like, oh, didn't, why didn't anyone say anything? Because we're terrified of you. <laughs> yeah. Dial it back. Oh. Uh, orange. Okay, yeah. I didn't know this stuff didn't look good. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Melania. So here's what I was... Uh, Donald, you're too orange. Uh, I was surprised you didn't re- hear this, know this term. And maybe I wanted the guys... You know what a dick broom is? <laughs> a dick broom? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have never, I've never heard of that. Larson, you know what a dick broom is? <laughs> I have never heard of that either. Yeah, it's and Zolo either? Zolo? Nope. Really? It's just you, Tom. Is this I, just hidden stuff with your dick? I mean, what? No, I just thought that this was like, I mean, I think, I feel like I first learned this in middle school. Well, I got lost on us on the West Coast here. Okay. Mm-hmm. That yeah, must have been a Midwest a thing. thing. Well, yeah. a mustache <laughs> is a dick broom. And you it still it? doesn't make sense to me. Oh, because you're brooming right, it you're as brooming you're blowing it. Of, yeah. yeah, when you're sucking on a D, <laughs> That's you're really brooming clever. the top. Yeah, <laughs> or the bottom depends on which position you're at. You know. And so was this was this like your first gay term? Like when you're like you such a, you got a dick broom? No, somebody was just like, oh, like guys got a nice dick broom on him, like saying. <laughs> Nice mustache. Meaning it's a gay looking mustache or just, no, just like that's what it's used for. It's used to broom the top of dicks when you're sucking on them. Right. You have an exceptional dick broom, but Thanks. you've always had yeah. very bushy, full body hair. I like to keep those hair. dicks clean, you know? <laughs> yeah. Now that's an interesting question. Do you think it does? It must tickle penises. If you're a gay man blowing another man, your dick broom would really be, I think, hurting. And that's always been, by the way, a more popular dick or a gay look is the mustache right Interesting. the mustache was like big in the 70s and 80s and it was like Interesting. right it was always like mustache guys so do you think it's they were like we our dicks are so dirty and we need to clean them for each other <laughs> could be could be now we had a, a gay gentleman over last night for dinner mm-hmm. and we were talking about how gay men super look gay you know what i'm saying like when they work out they work out Mm -hmm. it looks different than a straight fit man a gay Uh, uh, a gay fit man like they go for like real it's really sculptured right do you know what i'm saying like gay fit is a different level than straight guy fit yeah gay guys make themselves like the optimal Optimal. male appearance yeah like veins and everything and then i i asked him i go i asked him i said well, what do you guys find attractive? Like, what's sexy? It's not lingerie, you know? Mm-hmm. And he goes, uh, jock straps. We like jock straps. And I thought, oh, that that does make sense. Makes sense. Because, like, uh, what, I imagine he likes the Pull sweaty nuts straps. and, you know, like, the, you smell it. Is that what it is? It's dirty and stinky. Sure, and, and it, like, it also, it like... It, uh, there, there you, you go. go. That is, and that's like gay lingerie is a jock strap. Hmm, I'm still confused. You're trying to tell me <laughs> gay guys like this? I don't see it. What part? <laughs> hmm. Wait, it's so well, gay. Well, I guess I could see a gay guy liking <laughs> this. I didn't. I mean. Now, is this what you wore for football, Tom? They didn't look quite, quite like that. <laughs> they didn't look quite like that. And when you're in Little League, they put a little cup in there. Nice, which is to smart. To protect your, your twig and berries. Yeah. Okay, I think we got it now. I think we got it. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that one's got a hole in the front. Yeah. Is that for pee? Yeah, that's one way you can talk about Just it, I guess. Just poke your, ding- your dingleberry, your dong. Is that a hole? Yeah. That's a hole in the front? Yeah. That's <laughs> to, what it looks like to me, Tom. To dick hole. I can't it. see from here. It looks like it's a, <laughs> a hole. red dot or something. No, it's a dick hole. It's to no, put I've your dick ne- broom there's on it. Never, they've never made them like that for mass consumption. Look, hey, we got a <laughs> we got a hole at the front of the jock strap. Like, <laughs> suspensory jock strap for scrotal slash testicle. Would you please click on that native so I can get a better look? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Suspense suspensory jock strap for scrotal slash testicle support. Cotton mesh yeah. jock strap. NDS wear. I mean, the whole, I'm not so sure. 
revolutionary suspensory underwear multi-pack of two is perfect for supporting the testicles after <gasps> scrotal surgery such as a vasectomy. Uh, we could have gotten or this for you. Oh, replacement. Wow. Well, it's a little late. Oh, you, you don't want me to order one for you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> it do it does look awfully gay. Maybe for my calendar though. <laughs> I'm look... shooting that calendar next month. So You're maybe... shooting a calendar? Yeah. Just to keep the guys interested, you know? <laughs> no. It is as if now that I see a jog strap, yeah. it is as though it's designed by gay men for gay men. And it is clearly <laughs> uh, men's lingerie. That's what this it is. It is men's. That's the equivalent. <laughs> who, was, who invented the jog strap? It must have been a gay guy because he's like. No, mm. because you needed to keep your dick and balls like up Again. Okay. together. But then how come the seductive straps just around the hiney? Why not just make it a full back, a full flavor, full flavor, like a cotton panty with a, a thing in the front? Hmm. Why Why the strappiness to it? I mean, the strappiness makes sense to me. It's seductive. I don't think it's seductive. It's, it's seductive if you want to make it seductive. Mm. It's functional. <laughs> you got to keep everything supported. It makes sense to have straps. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it, that's more supportive than a full back I cotton. think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, good to know. <laughs> Glad now we, we got that out of the way. <laughs> we were also discussing... Um, the first time you, That's so gay. you watched <laughs> pornography yeah. and the first time you saw a man sit on a woman's face. It wasn't the first time I saw pornography. It was, I, I had, I was watching porn way too young and you know, you feel like you're like doing this taboo thing. And these, I remember that this guy had a ponytail and he was like a distinctly not attractive dude. Right. And you're like, wow, this guy's doing this to this chick. And <laughs> She's blowing them and they're like, you know, it's like pre-sex. And then he stands up and he squats over her face. And I was like, <laughs> he squats and he puts his asshole onto her mouth. And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is what I do. And so, and then he started like Jane his own D as she, like he making her do that. And I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I was like, what? And I didn't understand. I was too young. I was like, he's making her lick his asshole? <laughs> Even as you're describing that, I don't think I've seen that in pornography. Yeah, I was like, uh, I haven't even seen that. Oh, I've seen it a lot now. But <laughs> wait, but which way was he facing? Was he his back to her body? They were on a bed, and she was on her knees, and he stood up and just put his sat down on her mouth. But was he facing away from her? Okay, like reverse cowgirl. No, what meaning... are you talking about? He stood up and just squatted and put his ass on her mouth. Right. So are you, this is this is his dick. Hold on. Is how is this? How is what I'm saying not clear? Like that. Wait, hold on. Like that. Okay. See how that was it like that or reverse count like the other way around where do you know what I'm saying? No, no. I don't know what you're saying and I don't know how you don't know what I'm saying. Was he sitting like okay, that? Okay, wait. Or? Let me start again <laughs> because it's so upsetting that or it's not Or was it like clear. that? Or was it like that? Nope. I, I, I made it so clear. I don't know how it's not clear. I have a hard Close time that. visualizing. <laughs> Close it. God. <laughs> I like, you're so mad at me. I right know. Now. It's like, it's so obvious what I'm saying. I'm trying not to because. Okay, just listen though. If you just I'm listen. Listening. I'm draw draw it out for me, but it's obvious I'm not good at visualizing. So why can't you understand my limitations and draw it draw it in a diagram? Draw it. I'm not drawing it. If you don't understand this, this is, you know, you need help. I'm admitting my limitations. Okay, then just fucking listen. You know when people are like, when people are like, I remodel my bathroom. I go, what did you do? Well, I put the toilet over here, and then on this side I put this tile, and I'm like, I can't see what you're saying. Okay. I don't. My brain doesn't go. I'm gonna try again. Okay, go. I'm gonna take it slowly. Do it slow. Real All slow. Right. Go ahead. They're doing their oral fun. Okay. It doesn't she's, matter. It doesn't matter the positions. Just wait. Then <laughs> the woman is on her knees. On her knees. Yeah. Like, so her body is upright. Yes. She's on her knees. Yes. The man is standing on the bed. Okay. Standing it. And on the bed. Standing on the bed. She's on her knees on the bed. So as he's standing on the bed, he has his pee pee in her mouth. Got it. Right? Yep. And, he, and, and he's doing a standard BJ. Got it. Got it so far? I'm in there. I'm seeing it. You're seeing? Keep your eyes closed. Mind's eye, yeah. All right. Keep your eyes closed. (laughs) Now, she's still slobbing on his knob. Gotcha. And she's kneeling on the bed. And he's standing. And he's standing on the bed. Gotcha. So it's like, he doesn't have to, he's he's at the perfect height. And he's ugly. What does he look like? He's kind of got like, 
like brownish red Oof. hair and he's got a ponytail and Oof. bad it's kind of curly no but he's not like in shape he's just kind of black he's just kind of like bland like blah mm. just very all right and you're watching you're like all right i'm watching a blowjob that's exciting he takes his pee pee out of her mouth <laughs> okay turns around he turns around okay and just puts his asshole on her mouth oh my god and and like forces it on there and then he kind of he gets he's he kind of squ- gets on his tippy toes so that he can sit down on her mouth. That is revolting. And then he starts Jane is D, and he reaches his hand back and holds her head there, like you do that, you eat that. And he and then he's like, all right, now I'm ready. And then he started having, and I was like, okay, now do you picture it? I fully see it. Thank okay, you. You're Thank you for le- walking me through that. Do you want to do that with me? Of course. Uh, uh, uh. Stop. Can we show my Halloween costume, please? Is it in here or in there? I don't know. Do you have it, Native? I'm so proud of this, you guys. And we didn't share it last week. But um, I, I was really looking for inspiration, who I was going to be for Halloween. There's so many people to choose from this year. There it is. And I chose my jeans. Now, yeah. if that doesn't look like a dead ringer for my husband. It's pretty awesome. You got on a shirt of mine. You got ch- fake chest hair yeah. thing you put on. Yeah. Uh, one of my bomber jackets that I always wear. You got a fake beard. Mm-hmm. You even put on an FSU hat. And that day I had me wear an FSU shirt. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Huh? It was pretty odd. Uh, and then you came in, you're like, hey, chicks are fucking dumb, <laughs> which is your impression of me. Well, that and I got to take shit. You got shit on chicks. Anyways, I, I thought this was, the chest hair is really good. And that, that was a piece I purchased on Amazon. Yeah. I'm real proud of it. Yeah. It was good. It was really, it really made me laugh. You really made me laugh. I Thanks. Think. You came in there. I was just laying there and you're like, what's up everybody? <laughs> hey. My favorite that part fun. is that that's your impression of me. Hey. Chicks are dumb. Am I right? Chicks are fucking, fucking stupid. stupid wife. And you have to take a shit on your fucking stupid bitch's face. Okay. Mm. All right. I um, think Biden will live one year. What do you think? Um. Oh, you want to do your impression of me? What's your impression of me? As a woman. <laughs> hey guys, I'm a mom. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. But I don't go. You kind of do. Ask the audience. I don't know. I go. You go. You know. (laughs) (laughs) Ladies. I do not do that. I don't. I do do. My mouth does shape like that. I do side talky. You do a side talk thing. But I don't go. You go. Hey. (laughs) I give it a lick. Yeah. Have you been trying out your flick? Oh, yeah. I did it all week. Yeah? Yeah. You got any... I got so many numbers. <laughs> Tell me you like me, so. <laughs> Chicks dig it. You know who else digs it? Who? Yeah. Guys who knows what... Like, a guy who knows what's up. Like this guy right here. I just went to get some gas at the Chevron. Big change right here. here. Big surprise and coming. The cashier behind the counter, she was this old broad. And? I don't know, maybe she was 65 or 70, but she had a nice set of tits. I could tell this bra when she was younger, she was probably very, very good looking, very hot, very attractive. I wish I could have asked her, hey, can I get a picture of you, you know, back in like the 40s when you were like 25 years old, when you were super hot. So first of all, I don't think that math is right. This is the ass review guy. It's always about asses. Yeah. And I was thrown for a loop that... (laughs) Also, you're talking about this lady's great tits. I'm like, I thought you were the ass guy. I know. Because it does, Tom, what it does do is it thwarts his expertise in butts. You know? And now I don't believe that he's an expert in butts because he's moving to tits. Ooh, 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 ooh. Before I go on, I have to make this uh, clear. We have been told, and I'm going to express it up until then, that if you plan on doing the next live show, which is going to be fucking Crazy. It's November 20th. It's at ymhvirtual.com as the other shows have been. And it features Danny Brown, 
Oh, my sister, OMG Maria, and music by Marc Revier, and of course, a crazy heavy segment. If you're going to do it, get tickets ahead of time. It's, the only reason I'm saying this is because most, a lot of people wait until the last 24 hours, and that's what happens when people are like, oh, like, why is it, uh, you know, I'm being held up on the site? It's because so many people are going all at once. So even if you get it the day before, two days before, you're doing yourself, you won't have to deal with any of the chaos. You can do it whenever you want. I recommend doing it. If you plan on being there, do it now. We're also leaving it up through Thanksgiving weekend. Normally it's a one week thing uh, because I figured a lot of people will be with their families. Once you get a ticket, if you can't watch live, you can watch all week from November 20th through November 29th, which is Sunday at midnight after Thanksgiving. So thank you. And of course, it is available worldwide. You don't have to join live. You can do it anytime after. But thank you. And it's going to be, I think, our best show yet. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. That's right, Mike. Um, I'm but, very excited for the, and you're right listen give yourself time for the technology to work meaning if you buy them early then you can work out any possible glitches right it's smart what do you mean you're telling them to buy it early it's a smart idea yeah there's no just, glitches just, I'm just saying right, that just so that you avoid any kind of hassle if you do yeah you just don't have to deal with the day of right the right, day of you just drama. have your ticket just do it um, now I totally would sleep with her and you know there's always like an unwritten rule between a dude and his homeboys, like, you know, most guys will fuck anything that moves. Like, we don't really care. Anything with a warm hole, we don't give a shit. We're putting our dick right in there. But there's certain women that you just don't bring around your friends because they're fugly. You know what I mean? You're embarrassed that you even had sex with them. And this you're like, dude oh my God, I can't believe amazing. I slept with this broad and the things that I did with this broad. So you don't bring <laughs> this broad around your friends, you know what I mean? Because this broad, is, this broad is hideous. She's trash. She's garbage. She's filthy. She's disgusting. She's a skank. <laughs> I didn't know he. <laughs> This dude is the shit. I didn't know he does that. <laughs> He's the coolest of cool guys. <laughs> Let me keep going here. Woo! His broad. She was good looking to a point where you would almost bring her to your friends. But? Not as a, like a trophy, but, you know, like, hey, guys, like, she's not bad for, you know, 107. I mean, and... I don't think any of my homeboys would even trip if I brought her to the Super Bowl game on Sunday. Super Bowl party? Yeah. She had like the old, those, those teardrop boobs, those tits. But she's pretty hot. And I didn't see her backside. Yeah. I, gotta, I didn't want to see that. I was kind of worried maybe she was wearing the pens or, or something. I, I don't want to start feeling bad for her. Because, you know, once I start feeling bad for people, then I stop uh, being able to fantasize about them. <laughs> this really is like all he's about. I know. It's kind of cool that... You know, like we, we, we met him with the the reviewing asses, right? He's like, I gotta tell you, he watched like a different aisle. Right. And he was like, you know, there's, you know, this is. So I just seen this girl's ass in the other aisle. But like, then you, you, you're you watching this and you're like, oh, this is all he does. Oh, it's for real. It's all day, air day. He doesn't, he doesn't do anything else. No, he's um, into it. He's really into sex. Yeah. He's so into this it. broad. She was good looking <laughs> to a point where you would almost bring her to your friend. Yeah, this, I don't know who this guy is, but uh, that, that chick over there, man, I'm telling you, for, for 112, uh, I tell you, uh, I, would, I would definitely take her out on a date to uh, Bob Evans, for sure. Oh, wow. Nice. With some uh, liver and onions and some dick. Wow. He's so sincere and he's so dedicated to the he cause. Is. And he's and pretty articulate. And yeah, like he you, really means it. Yeah. I mean, the interesting thing is that he makes these videos. You never see who he's talking about. So this no. is just a guy who's like, hey, I just saw someone. Here's what their tits and ass are all about. <laughs> and you're like, okay. We know what I like, too, in, in parts of this clip. Um, he says boobs, and then he corrects himself and calls them tits. Oh, right. So he almost doesn't want to give off an air of having any sort of feel human feelings. And mm -hmm. then he even says... Oh gosh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to see the depends because I don't want to feel bad for her because then I can't Fantasize. objectify her. Yeah, yeah. So even like she can't. He he really is objectifying people to the max. Yeah. You think what a warm hole. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. But I mean, how many? We've known guys like this, right? They're they're coolest oh, of guys. This broad is hideous. She's trash. She's garbage. She's filthy. She's disgusting. She's a skank. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. He yeah. just saw that and dropped that on you. It's pretty cool, man. It is cool. But this reminds me of guys you'd meet in your 20s. Like usually yes. they grow out of this stuff. Yes, this usually is when you're kind of realizing that you're sexually viable and, and like you kind of are mature enough. You're, ma- you're mature enough to be meaning like you're old enough to engage women and you know you have like a a car and a job and you're like you're 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 you like it's your main focus yeah and then you get to you know a little older and it kind of just doesn't become the only focus but his is <laughs> by the way your water bottle looks like it's about to tip over oh how did that happen oh yeah, yeah he hasn't matured in the least yeah like he's he's probably i don't know 40s or something and yeah, he's still it's pretty rad. Acting like he's a 20-year-old dude. I got something for you, though. Oh, what you got? This is very what cool. What you got You're going to dig this. <laughs> this is how we roll in the hood. Here cut. Oh, cool. Step on <laughs> two fucking thousand, motherfucker. Look yeah. at that. This way, you save all your money. Huh? You're going to pay 20 fucking dollars. 20 bucks? Well, you can just do it yourself? <laughs> Let's see how good that looks. <laughs> oh, oh, no, don't out. tilt the ball. Oh, oh man! No, the old boy of the bowl. Keep the line. Oh yeah. Fucking <laughs> perfect. What the fuck? That's perfect. That's really that good. Looks good. Say no more. Say no more. Twenty dollar haircuts and Thomas. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say no more. And then. Mate. Now for all you haters out there. Haters. I've had a few, but today I had very, very <laughs> extreme amounts of compliments. Okay. Right. I'm calling this the Lancelot haircut. Hell yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, what do you call that thing when you do a fucking postmark thing, whatever you do, you know, you put a stamp on it, it's yours. That's cool. I'm gonna show you what you're doing Friday night. Okay. It's Friday night. I'm going out. Going Got a out. Got nice light haircut. What are you gonna do, sir? Okay during the week. You got a fresh right, cut. Now, all you need, don't need fancy hairspray, don't need this, don't need that. <laughs> okay, I'll just show you what, look, just look around my bathroom. So it <laughs> oh, look, we got some fly spray. <laughs> Oh, we got a beautiful brush. <laughs> I love okay. it so much. Okay. Very simple. Very simple. Very quick, very easy. This is amazing. Like I'm saying, mate, a hairdresser will fucking look the fly spray. That's bug look. spray. <laughs> no, uh Yes. Look at that. Beautiful. It kind of looks good, though. I... Uh, yeah, you put some rate, and then Doesn't that matter. is Anything? a toilet Anything brush. <laughs> he looks good, it's though. It's still a brush. Damn, homie. Actually, he looks great. I know. Oh, fuck it, motherfucker. Check that out. Yeah. Okay? Then when you finish, because it's got nice it's got nice fly spray on it. Okay? <laughs> no! <laughs> It'll fit the bloody flies out here, Dunny, as well. You Dunny. Perfect, beautiful. <laughs> like I said, fuck the hairdressers. Come to Tomo. That's it. He's right. Dude, this guy's my hero. And can I That's tell you something? Awesome. I would marry Aussie, Aussie, him. Aussie, Aussie, Oi, oi. I would marry him in a minute over cool. the tits and ass guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I love him. I'm and I would like to see him. you guys together. <laughs> if I had to choose between the ass guy you do. and him. Go ahead. Him all him? day. Yeah. Air day. No, he would be more fun. But you know what? I think there's some signs that. <laughs> what? That he's frugal? He knows how to. It, it, it cut his own hair. Mm-hmm. He's got a, an adorable accent. He's got a nice house. Yeah. I'm in. I'm all in. Yeah. I'd have to get his teeth fixed, but. The teeth is a thing. I, I think he would push back on it. I That's think he would cute, push back. Though. I like him and I like his hair. It looks good. We got a dad boner. Love um, those. In, a, in hey, a lane that I've never. How much to get Nadav to cut his hair like that? To do that haircut on Nadav on the live show? You do the bowl. Sure. And we can use bug spray and a, and a toilet brush? <laughs> uh, if it's a clean brush, no on the bug spray. <laughs> no on the bug spray. All right. Fair enough. Compromise. Yeah. Compromise. Okay. It'll grow back. You guys saw how quickly my, my, right. my last That's cut right. grew back. Your skullet. Mm-hmm. You guys can pretty much do whatever you want to my head. That's pretty cool. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Uh, check this out. All right, so let's go into Brian Roper's mini cave and look at his chairs. So, <laughs> well, we got a ProGuard Mile Boost. We got my... White, chocolate, <laughs> strawberry, pewter blue, and hunter green. One of my fan back chairs. <laughs> come over here. 
We got a rope made chair. We got the great guy cool. chair. Yeah, that's my best chair. Oh my god. Spend most of my time in that chair. Oh, so, so we have a this lot of cool chairs. Chair. Flexing. I don't like the Malibu. <laughs> and come over here, we have our wow. Arched low back, arched high back, use leisure chair. So I just kid size use leisure chair. <laughs> we got the slatted low back and slatted high back. This here we have absurd. a rope made chair. We got this is absurd. Kid size model. Got your rope made marvelous chair here. Other rope made chair. <laughs> Come over here. You got your capaza. Low back and high back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got this kid size chair made by the H. Tell you, most of this stuff's like 30 years old. Yeah, it's pretty uh, cool. You got to keep it though. H chair. We got a reflex <laughs> model back, reflex on. Come over here. We got a Sarko kid oh, size chair. I like that blue one. We got a deluxe fan back, tropical deluxe. Deluxe. Deluxe, chair. deluxe, and deluxe chair. <laughs> Tell you what, that's all your essential. Chairs. Ones you don't ever want. Yeah, I mean that's really cool, man. Um and the interesting <laughs> thing is that now it opens up your game to another guy. There's three guys now today. You got the bowl cut bug spray guy, you got that old lady has nice tits, and then you got the chair collector. Well, I will say I like the chair collector's attention to detail. Yeah. And his stick it to itiveness. And stick probably it, the least to itiveness. Threatening. We don't know. We haven't seen his appearance. We don't know, but I'm I'm <laughs> telling you, I feel like you could definitely get yourself out of a sticky situation here by being like, Hey, you wanna go buy some chairs? <laughs> you know? I do think it's odd that as much as he prizes his chair collection that he just keeps them in his bedroom. I wish Well he lo he doesn't want them to get out. Like <laughs> I mean, our our kids do the same thing. They're like, I want to take this to my room. All right, man. <laughs> That's true. I need to see what this guy looks like. Mm -hmm. I still, I'm still with the Australian guy with the uh, the haircut, and I just like I like how he talks. I love his accent. Yeah. And I like his stick it to the man. I like how he's like, oh, I fuck fuck that address, I might do a yeah. the accent. You're the master. Yeah. Hey, oi. And then you put it in a donut. Oi. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Hey. Yeah. Addresses, eh? Yeah, I yeah. like that Australian, you know, DIY kind of like they're so a uh, bug. Is he a bogan? Yeah. Yeah, I like their how their whole attitude is like they keep it real. Yeah. I really dig that. They're Check not posh at all. This chick, I think it's a chick giving <laughs> my mom a run for her money. Oh. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. That is so I, cool. Listen, I Someone just sent that in? Mm -hmm. I don't believe the audio. I think really? we need a recount. This is, I'm suing a because recount. this yeah. is not official fart audio. I don't believe this audio. Yana, if you look, <laughs> if you look at the lady's face while it's happening, it lines up. It lines up with what she's <laughs> with what we're here. And is it uh, is the source material? Is it a link? Is it an actual embedded <laughs> video? Well, how did it arrive? It was a link. It was a link. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it where is this posted? YouTube live leak. Where is it posted? YouTube. Wow. <laughs> yeah. May I see it again? Yana? And that is a that is a woman, right? It looks like a woman's foot and leg. <laughs> That's a little hard for me to decipher. I thought I thought it was a, a male fart. <laughs> No, the fart sounds male, yeah. but the, the these look female to me. Yes, and I also I think what's happening is there's a baby there. <laughs> I think this is a new mother, and I think that's her mother. You see what oh, I mean? interesting. I thought like they were. I, I thought think they that's, were lesbians. Oh, well, that could be partners. I thought that's the. This is a young mother that we're looking like that, whose legs we're looking at. And that's her mother looking at her. Because that's the way your mom <laughs> would look at you if you're doing that, you know? And you're keeping an eye on the baby. The disdain, the disgust. Start at the beginning here and tell me if you think that's a woman's foot or a man's foot. Because I think... I think it looks female. Yeah, it's a woman. That's such a good reaction. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why she didn't jump. Like, if it's her daughter, that's what I'm thinking. You know, if it's, like, your daughter, you're like... <laughs> she didn't jump initially, which is odd. Like, she ignored it. She ignored it. She ignored it. I think that falls in line <laughs> with mom, though. I think friend, spouse, somebody like that jumps. <laughs> I think your parent just goes, like... 
That's true because she's so used to it. The parent is yeah. so used to it. Now with you, every time you rip ass, I look immediately and I give you disgust immediately. You're mm-hmm. right. That's that's a quicker response. Yeah, I would jump out too if it was yours, you know. <laughs> but like, yeah, with one of the kids, I'd just be like. Now I will say that this is a dangerous position to fart in. It you is. You are really taunting the gods here because I wouldn't do that. Also, I mean, I'm con- I'm convinced this is a woman farting and those are real guy fart vibes <laughs> well tom as we've learned on ymh sometimes the ladies are the ones with the biggest fart vibes that's, that's definitely what we've as learned. is evidenced when we did have the fart mic up um there was a twitter account that kept a tally and i was winning the fart mic yeah tally which leads me to believe that's why it disappeared one day because i was in the lead yeah hello yeah i remember i remember <laughs> Why? You don't need it. He's getting to know him. You, the dog trusts you this way. <laughs> Puppy. Puppy. That's enough gross. Ugh. That's so gnarly. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for watching my videos. Uh. My dog loves to lick my mouth. Yeah, Ugh. we know. Leave your ups. Ugh. Ugh. On our way to the mountains. Ugh. He's clearly single. I mean. Thanks for watching. I wouldn't kiss his mouth after that. Because you remember the wolf lady. Yeah, of course I can't wolf forget. Lady, my mouth. Look at her today. Hello and welcome to Animal Watch. And today I'm getting up <laughs> close with one of the top and most fearsome apex predators in the USA. She's got a jock trap on her tits. The alligator. Oh, she is not. The American not. alligator is considered to be the most dangerous non-venomous animal in the USA. However, attacks on humans are rare. If an attack does happen, it is usually because of mistaken identity or humans Doing entering shit like into this. the gator's domain without due diligence and caution. She's so dumb already. I don't like it. Hi. Fuck that. Fuck that. Big time fuck that shit. What you doing, dog? Yeah, don't. What are you doing? Bruh. Oh my god, dude. What the so fuck? That's that reaction to, you know, splashing on the surface. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, he can be very fast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what we're seeing right now is a feeding response. That is him moving towards being given food. That's not a predatory response. Oh, yeah. If it was a predatory where he's thinking that the prey might try to get away, he would move at least triple that speed. What the hell's wrong with people? After learning all about the alligator's physiology and behavior, I decided that it was time to bite the bullet and go down into the watery Why? abyss. Would I survive long enough to get some epic underwater shots and film? Clearly. Only time would tell. Oh my God. Nope. And don't go in its habitat, you stupid bitch. That's how you die. There's something quite strange about an alligator being pushed towards your face and for you to dive down underneath him before his teeth reaches your head. But I was game. And apart from the freezing temperatures, I was really enjoying sharing this experience with my new scaly pal. I'll tell you this about gators. I think it's the same with crocs. uh, It's not difficult to hold their mouths closed, but it's impossible to pry a mouth open. That's right. So you can hold it, tape it, like relatively easy, but man, if they are chomping down on something, it's oh, over. You're fucked. Yeah, you can't, you cannot pry it open. No, th- those teeth are serious. And, and you know that they'll, jaw, that grip. And you know they'll just break them out too and they'll grow them back? Yeah. They don't give a shit. They don't give a fuck about you know, shit. They don't give a fuck about shit. Also, dude, animals kill people. Remember Steve Irwin? He got killed by, what, a fucking dumb stingray? Like, they kill you. Yeah, the dumb thing Why are you did. messing with animals, bro? It Don't stabbed him. fuck with anybody. It stabbed him. Fuck. I'm afraid of Bitsy sometimes. I wouldn't even mess with her. Yeah. Those teeth. Those little Bits teeth? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. The animals will fuck you up, bro. Um, This chick's so silly. What is wrong with her? I don't know, man. I think it's so stupid to do this stuff. I hate it. You know? I hate it. I, I hate, hate when people too. mess with animals. It's just... um. Why do you have to mess with them? They're scary. 
They're bigger than you. They're stronger than you. Oh, you saw this, by the way. I know. Just don't, Stop leave it. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Um, oh, yeah. This is another thing for yes. uh, for those of you that don't know. So you don't know that my sister, who is returning for the live show, oh. used to be a staple of this show, like years <laughs> ago. Um, and then... <laughs> She got certain jobs. She was like, I cannot come on your show. <laughs> well, as the show grew in popularity, too, we didn't, you yeah. know, we had to, she, she, had, to, to she had a normal life, you know. All I mean? kinds of shit. But when, <laughs> when were your real pig oh. days? Was that in college or after college? Of uh, uh, sex? Definitely after. Uh, so like New York? I had boyfriends, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. New my York 20s. is an easy city to be like a real savage yeah. in. It's a, I mean, it's a total blur of who and how many. Uh, it's a blur? <laughs> I mean, God. Yeah, there was. I mean, there were guys I dated, but in between, you go out and you go home with somebody, and wow. or you need to leave. I mean, so she's basically saying she doesn't know how many people she's been with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was your age range when you started hand jobs? Uh, hand jobs, middle yeah. school. I was like what? eleven, twelve. What? I, mean, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> really? What? You guys were doing that in middle school? Yeah. I mean, we we didn't know. Like, we put our hands on our pants and like. Play with a penis. I mean, I had no idea how to properly give a hand job. I obviously learned that later on in life. Obviously, that so advanced. Down and dating people. So I gave <laughs> shitty hand jobs in like sixth grade, but uh, so sixth grade. Now, was it because you were with in school with a bunch of like promiscuous? Four. Yeah. yeah, basically, because everyone in my school was like a complete and utter slut. What? Did she go to private school? No, that wasn't. No. I saw porn once when a guy had like a like a long. Metal tube being shoved. Oh into my his god! Head, oh my the tip god! Tip of his penis. I just don't get it. The pain thing. No, that that thing I definitely don't get. Yeah, it's horrific. Right thick, yeah. Well, so is eating stool and like shitting on each other. <laughs> yeah. Nobody. <sighs> There's something seriously wrong with these people. Yes, I totally agree. And I want to know what goes through their head that they think like this is normal. I'm oh definitely going to find a great woman that wants to do this with me. She's quality <laughs> material. She used to, like, just get us going. She used to get so fired up. Do you think up. there's what coming at you? It's either semen or something something else. Semen would be from three days ago? Usually when we have sex, it still leaks out of me for, like, a few days after. Because apparently I have a very mucusy cervix. Is that unusual? <laughs> I don't really know. Apparently, with his strong swimmers and my super mucusy cervix, oh. yeah. it just hangs out in there. <clears throat> so, <throat> like, five days later, it's just leaking out whoa that's why i can't wear thongs usually you know i have to wear <laughs> underwear with like something there for like the week after or i can't have a massage like because it's happened once before where i was having like a massage mm -hmm. and it was like it was like gross it was, like a snail trail after i got from the oh my, oh my so god disgusting i know Throw it's so gross everywhere and then she became shameless it was the most crazy and all the old school listeners remember that she had insane coffee orders yes you know? the best like dude. literally the stuff that you see like mocked well like, let's be so over hold the top. on now hold hold on yana let's be fair the segura family has a thing with getting their coffee right no. if you will forget top dog uh, mcdonald's has the best coffee yeah everyone has a coffee thing but her order she is would definitely go through not, the drive through not like anyone else and it had to be hot and then somebody needs venti yeah iced yeah coffee extra ice no, we have a preference, but I'm saying the level of her preference. She's it's not comparable. She's the winner. Me saying I would like extra ice and a splash of milk is not at all like this. God. This is what my sister ordered. She has three beverages that she can order based on season from Starbucks. Morning the morning before noon, it is a single bag venti with three and or awake tea with three inches of steam soy and foam, three raw sugars, and then you add later three sponges and vanilla powder. One bag. That's that's a one, crazy I mean, come drink. On, nobody... I don't even understand that drink. No, of course not. <laughs> Afternoon, summer, then I do a venti decaf soy, sugar free, caramel frappuccino light, both extra drizzle and easy whip. Oh Must my be the drizzle, God. not what? the syrup. Wait. And then fall afternoon. And if it's afternoon and fall or winter, then I do a single bag coffee in a venti cup with three raw sugars, three inches of steamed soy, and foam, and then topped off with three spun nuts and vanilla powder. So that's, that's, are you crazy? That's a ton of sweetener, by the way. Oh, dude, I've 
she's I've had a sip of her three Splenda because I've been I've been with her before. And I'm like, wow, you really <sighs> like coffee, man. She's like, yeah, I love it. I love coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been like, I thought I like coffee, and then she's she like, doesn't drink coffee. No, it, this is nonsense. Your so. voice dropped since these recordings. Your voice got deeper, didn't it? Well, some of it, though, is the quality of the recording. Yeah, I, I like that sound. Better, we got better equipment. It's everything. very nostalgic for me, those early mics, the, the EV mics. Yeah. No, I like the it way wasn't the, EV before. No, I know. I, yeah. like the, I like this audio quality. It's bringing really? me back. Yeah, it's, it's very nostalgic for me. All right. It's yeah. interesting. Yeah, so, so but, yeah. that maniac is coming She's back crazy. on the show for the first time in years. And it's been a it's been a while. She's had two children. She's had a a whole new life. She was booked to do uh one of the earlier live shows and then she was like, I got I got blah 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 for work. She was like about my work, my boss will have a wallace. And then all of a sudden, like a month later, she was like, Guess what? I could do the live show now. So I was like, you're on, dude. So I guess work isn't a, I don't a know. Concern. For some reason, she was just like, I could do it. But I was just talking about cocks or something like that. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, what I sure. love about OMG Maria is that she's always Ugh. fired up. There's always something in her world that is... Yeah. You know, she never calls without a story. There's always something going that on. That intro, the, uh, <laughs> the Maria intro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Oh my god. You take your fucking scissors. Oh my god. Your pudgy fucking monkey hand. Seriously? Cut the box open, cut a hole in it, and pour it in the goddamn bottle. Oh my god. Seriously? No, <laughs> that was from her being upset with a Starbucks employee because yeah. they couldn't figure out how to how put to, the syrup in. Yeah, something. they couldn't open the thing that they needed to open. <laughs> Get your pudgy fucking fingers. You know, she's very active, too. Maria does, by the time we wake up around 8 or 9 a.m., she's like, okay, I, I woke up at 6 a.m., I don't know what I run, I run 15 miles, and then I swam in the ocean for, um, I did like 10 miles there, and then we played tennis for like two hours. Yeah, she does. Like, what? She does it all. I mean, vacations with her, she's like <laughs> laying out activities where you're like, what about the rest part? You're going to rest on this thing? And she's like, we went on a hike, and then I ran, and then I lifted, and then I had breakfast, and then I played tennis. And then I swam, and then they have sta- they have kayaks, and I use the kayaks. And then we got back, and I'm going on another hike, and you're like, "This is vacation, all right?" Like that's her way of chilling out. I know. Oof. She um, when she was about to give birth to her second kid, she called me and she goes, "Oh my god, I went to the doctor. Uh, the doctor says I have to stop weightlifting because yeah. I prolapsed my uterus, yeah. which means that she was about to give. She was like weeks away from delivery." And she was lifting weights so much that her uterus was coming out of her vagina. Mm-hmm. It was so heavy and so strained. They're like, you need to stop. And she still did like the... She's like, I can still run though. Yeah. I can still run. She, still, she did like eight miles a day to give birth. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So anyway, uh, mm. I thought you'd like this. The Reese's Chocolate Peanut Butter Cup. That's my favorite. You know when you get a fresh one right away yeah it's got that wonderful chocolate scent when you open it up yeah and it's shiny and not discolored on the top yeah mm-hmm. you pull off that bottom wrapper and nothing sticks to it mm. and when you take a bite oh man that peanut butter is so smooth and moist and sugary and sweet but mm. you also know how disappointing it is when you get a stale one oh. you take a bite and it tastes kind of like cardboard ugh ugh, ugh. Hershey's, the company that makes the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, used to have a system where the expiration date was embedded in code on the back of the package. It was not very consumer friendly. They have a much better system now with a best buy date clearly on the back of the package. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's as good as far as it goes, though. But it doesn't really tell you how fresh the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are. It just tells you when the last possible moment is that they're still good. Mm. Huge distinction. This is a there, big Donna. deal for this guy. <laughs> this guy is really into Reese's. We contacted Hershey's to ask exactly <laughs> what the time period was from yeah. when they're manufactured issues, to guys. the best buy date. <laughs> they would not disclose that information. Oh, oh. They very tight-lipped about it. Cancel. Oh. So it was up to us to figure it out. So we went from store to store, candy aisle <laughs> to candy aisle, on a search to find the freshest peanut butter cups available. Of course, lots of taste testing was required. 
We focus primarily on the miniatures, the two cup package, the four cup package, and the big cup Reese's. We found that, in most cases, the freshest we could find had a best by date of 10 to 11 months into the future. That made us suspect that the time frame from the manufacture date to the best by date was one year. It took more hunting. But we did finally strike gold when we found a 12 pack with a best by date exactly one year away from the current date. This was at a Walmart, and it was on sale just $1.50 for 12 cups. And the cups on that one, with a best by date a year away, were the freshest we found. Oh, wow. Thank goodness. Man, you've really done some research <laughs> for people. I was on tender hooks. You know, Bertrand Russell once said, the famous philosopher, mm-hmm. the time we enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Yeah. So when I feel judgmental like and you're like what the fuck are you doing yeah you're like you know what though this guy's really into his Reese cups and i respect that i'm really into Reese cups yeah like i i would i would argue this is the top of my halloween candy list this is it yeah this is dope i love these fucking things but is it reese's or reese's i've been saying reese's not reese's reese's uh tom it's reese's bullshit mm. reese's yeah no. Reese's? She had a nice set of tits. Yeah. <laughs> it's Reese's. No. Chris Larson, go ahead. I usually say Reese's. Yeah, that's normal. Reese's. That's not Reese's. Uh, it was made yeah. by Reese, and it's Reese's peanut butter cups. Reese's Good pieces. Point. Not Reese's pieces. Pieces, huh? Reese's pieces. Only a there fucking Megan would call it Reese's. It's Reese's pieces. Megan. So Reese's. 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 Reese's, Reese's, Reese's pieces. pieces. And, Reese's. But you could say Reese cups. I say Reese no, cups. No, you can't. No, yeah. You, no, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> That's you say? not what people call them. Them's Reese cups. Yeah. No. It's <laughs> shittier to say it that way. Reese's cups. Yeah. Reese's. No, they say Reese's, Reese's peanut no, butter. You Reese's. Say, you say Reese cups. You do not. Yeah, you uh-huh. do. Reese cups. Reese's. Mm-hmm. Reese's, Reese's cups and Maggie. Reese's pieces. Bro, it's a Reese cup. Everyone yeah. calls it a it's, Reese cup. No, I've I've never heard anyone call it a Reese cup. Well, that's because you're too LA about it. The rest of America calls this a Reese cup. Yeah, man, seventy-one million yeah. votes, fuckhead. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck face. <laughs> uh, I read the bag. Read the fucking bag, stupid Nadav. Take yeah. it easy, fuckhead. <laughs> <sighs> it is a Reese cup. All right, let's take a quick break, and we'll be back with a guest in a moment. I don't know if you know this, I am a sauce connoisseur and I find that food is basically just a vehicle for sauce. I mean, what would buffalo wings be without the buffalo? What would a french fry be without the catsup? Mm -hmm. That's why I love Truff. It's spelled T-R-U-F-F. It comes in such fancy packaging. It arrived at our house and I thought, oh my gosh, what is this luxury item? Well, it's sauce. It's hot sauce mixed with truffle so it is so beautiful it's got a a bright chili kick a rich undercurrent of savory truffle balanced with a dash of sweetness from agave nectar it is heaven the packaging is marvelous and it will enhance any meal breakfast lunch or dinner i put them on eggs it's a truff i put truff on eggs i put truff on fries now i put it on mac and cheese i love it See for yourself why Truff is the biggest hot sauce on Instagram and TikTok. Get 10% off site-wide when you use the promo code mom at truff.com. That's 10% off everything, including white Truff VIP box and Truff variety pack just in time for the holidays. Shop at truff.com. That's T-R-U-F-F-F as in fantastic.com and use promo code mom. Oh, Gene, this holiday season, mailing stuff is going to be such a hassle. The post office is going to be busy and you don't have time for that stamps.com brings the post office and now ups shipping right to your computer mail and ship anything from the convenience of your home or office and how great is it that they do ups now you just at your computer computer you have your own little weight you weigh the item uh you print out the postage for any letter any package any class of mail anywhere in the world you want to send it you simply set up the pickup from the mail carrier it really couldn't be simpler i don't know why anybody is bothering with the post office agreed you get 40 percent off priority mail and up to 62 percent off ups shipping rates how great is that 
Not to mention, it's a fraction of the cost of those expensive postage meters if you've ever seen one of those old school things. Don't spend a minute of your holiday season at the post office this year. Sign up for Stamps.com instead. There's no risk. With my promo code MOM, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in MOM. That's Stamps.com. Enter MOM. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. And we're back with a dear friend, a great comedian you can see on the road, multiple dates coming up. And of course, you should be watching his new podcast, Roach Motel. Tuesdays at 6 a.m. It drops right here on the Your Mom's House YouTube channel. You can rate, review, and subscribe to it on iTunes or wherever you listen to podcasts. Please welcome Josh Potter. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a fucking American, you fuck. That's right, right. baby. And I'm proud to be an American. (laughs) American. I'm stood by your side. And 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 we go to take over our country. (laughs) (laughs) Then we go. Mexicans go back home. Down to Guatemala, <laughs> fuck up their government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So we were talking right before we started rolling. How I've converted to pot. I love it. I've yeah. been trying to get everyone on board. I'm two milligram Tina. Two. <laughs> I pushed two. to two and a half. And milligrams. she's like two milligrams. She's like, she's like, yo, I felt that shit. Are you kidding? Yeah. She's like, it knocked me out. I am like mm-hmm. the. It opposite. makes me feel like Diaz at home. I'm like, you got only angle two. <laughs> what are you a fucking kid? Slipper yeah. at ten, and she she's oh. like, oh, I'm in another. I'm out of her space. Yeah. I'd be in the hospital. Uh, but two, I two and a half. Sorry, I sleep like an two angel. And a half. What? It is. <laughs> listen, I'm. I'm a dilettante. I'm a newbie. I'm not good at it. That is just enough to chill me out. And I have the raddest dreams. I like sort stuff out. I talk to my dead mom in my dreams. I'm having sex with ex-boyfriends. Dude, this reminds like, me of when I was like 22 and smoking weed or whatever. Like yeah. I would rip one bowl like a hit and then I'd be like, I'm good for like a week. <laughs> and then, you know, it grows. Yeah. <laughs> it's eventually your tolerance. I took level. 20 the other night and I was hallucinating. <laughs> what? Yeah. Where with me or no. on the road? Yeah, and I was just up for hours, like woo, woo, just spinning out. When yeah. we were together, no, oh, because they they you had received some sort of gifts of edibles oh, when that's we were right. together. And you took one. I took all of them. I took all of them. How how did that treat you? I did one fifty like and? that night. We played what? video games in one hundred fifty milligrams. Yeah, I felt great. You were whoa. Were, that would how kill high me. were you? Fine. I don't know. I mean, that's fine, what, dude. I. I'll do two. Uh, the, the, my problem with it right now is oh that God. they put the gummies in like 10 milligrams each or whatever. Yeah. So to eat like 200, I have to eat like 20 gummies. Yeah, just get That's a stronger delicious. dosage. Well, you can't because like the legal, like there are places where it's like, we're a church, we're not a dispensary. And then there you can go get a gummy that's strictly 200 milligrams, but they've regulated it now. But so I've been low. I've been in the, in the um, legit dispensaries. Yeah, that have strong stuff. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because they've told me, they're like, oh, we have to get them, and they have to increment them. And I hate that shit. Hmm. So well, that they're I like, like the 10 per. Gummies. I hate candy. So it's like oh, yeah. to ingest. Yeah, I remember that. You don't like sweets at all. Oh, they're my so God. So weird. I get like sick to my stomach. If I want to get 200 milligrams in me, I have to like eat Wait, 20 so what fucking does, gummies. What about the Death Star, homie? That's what. Well, that's what I'd love. I'd Death love. They, you can't get that shit anymore. But let me ask you this. If you take uh, 200, yeah. what are you like on 200? The same. I don't know. What do you I mean? I mean, I feel same? like outer space but i oh, love okay. it, but i can function but you're high as fuck though <laughs> yeah of course uh, but, that's so, what i that's a goal but no but uh, you're making it sound like i don't that does anything do that to you so is it is too high i have the to magic go thing? i have to go like in the hundreds to make that happen so a hundred though you're <laughs> high as fuck oh also uh I'll, I'll be like normal high i probably i'll still rip i mean like i, f- I think when we were in vegas <laughs> the night we were in vegas you gave me what 50 milligrams and then we also smoked like a blunt and then we were drinking and you were like, you don't feel that at all. I'm like, not really. We were doing other stuff, too. I don't know. It's like, Jesus, man, I'm dead inside my body. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. I don't have any feelings at all. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I do like I have a lot of feelings, but it's not like I, I like need it to take me someplace. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, get yeah. me out of my own head. I want to be so far out of my own head. I'm on Mars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you're normal. I That's wish, good. I mean, I wish for <laughs> you that it could happen at a lower dosage. Oh my God, me too. But after time, 
when you try to see the devil as many times like i remember when i used to do shows with joey diaz like back in the day i don't know 2013 or something like that he'd have those stars man they were fun those were the shit and i think that's why he like kept me like working a couple times yeah, down yeah. the road because i was like not a little bitch on those and stars. jumping in on them yeah yeah he gave me a corner of one once corner mm. and i had to pull over and get a ride home <laughs> <laughs> there have been times i've gone too deep in edibles where i'm like sweating profusely and i have to like lay down those profusely profusely yes yes and then i have to say. yeah then i have to like lay down and like let the air conditioning bring me back to life for a second yeah but, but I that's don't like that that's though. going too deep for you i mean that's yeah that's happening at what like four or five hundred milligrams i mean some i mean honest to god it depends on also like what you've eaten and stuff like that like if you have an empty stomach and you do 200 milligrams like i used to have I this die. i used to have this like uh underground sort of dispensary near my house that i would walk home from open mics to like and on the way home i would pass it and i would always buy a 200 milligram gummy for the walk home just so i could float home and it would i would become a race like if i could get home before the gummy kills me kind of thing <sighs> like and sometimes i wouldn't make it like i'd be almost home it'd be a really hot day and by the end of it i'm crawling up to my porch <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i would be fucked up but it was worth the fun you know so you would mm. so you do go too deep though sometimes oh yeah that's the goal see i well, i know but I, I, know. I felt like it was impossible maybe with you no i mean it becomes as you try to get that way more and more it becomes more you can't do 200 milligrams a day and then like try and yeah. function you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah, so yeah. yeah the more and more you go i mean like, we, like when we were hanging out I was able to play video games and shit like that, like in the arcade or whatever. So, yeah, you know, I could mm. do those things and not like I'm not like, oh, man, I got to like, I don't know. I got to like, I don't know what would happen to you if you took 150 milligrams. I'd freak the fuck out pretty hard. I yeah, mean, I don't get freaked out by drugs because I always I go like, it's like, the drugs. I would just be mm. like beside myself. You know, I even not, do you do mushrooms and shit. Have you? No, have you? no. Fuck. Mm -mm. That's when you're really out of your mind, though, like acid and mushrooms and stuff. I mean, sort of, but also you could be like, you've done enough LSD, like where you're really. I've never done acid. Difference. That's the one thing I've done. Sh so many shrooms, and I've always been of the um, uh, persuasion. And this is just a theory I have because I've through talking to some people is if you've done acid first, you don't like mushrooms, and if you've done mushrooms first, you don't like acid. Hmm. Hmm. So it's always made me a little When I did the um that late the last Diaz dosing, hmm. you know, I was hallucinating. What would you, what were you hallucinating? What do you mean? Like what were the hallucinations? Was I mean, I was like floating above myself and like Really? God, oh, I would yeah. kill my mother to feel that. You, you can take acid. You, you can. do that on LSD. Take a okay. little tab. Or why don't you just take You'll get get a thousand out. milligrams and just eat that? No, do acid. It's no. so many if gummies. If you want to hallucinate, <laughs> no, no, just get like we can track down. Okay, the, the, the I very mean I will. I don't think I would feel what you feel though. I would just like go to sleep. I would like pass out. I don't out. know, man. I don't know. If I you took mega salvia. Yourself, everyone yeah. was talking about salvia. Salvia is so scary. You feel like the walls are melting. You'll see bunny rabbits. But You'll that should last for lifetime. like 10 seconds. Yeah, right? but like you're supp supposedly, I was reading things. People are like, you live a whole lifetime in seven minutes. Like, oh, boy. And I was like, I want to know what that feels like. That sounds scary. And I want to know what that's like. And I did it. <sighs> and I really, I, all it was was like smoking weed for me. Yeah, I think you should try LSD. Because that shit lasts for like, if you take a lot of it, you're it, high for almost it lasts <laughs> your whole, a whole life. day. No, <laughs> a whole day. And there's speed in it. So you can't just fall asleep. You know, asleep. I know somebody that it broke, right? Well, that's really? the thing that scares me about it. Yes. It won't. I, I know that it broke uh, a guy who I, who I know. Really? And who's a, who was a smart, like Does high Does he get academic. the flashbacks and all that? Uh, he just a complete personality shift. Had to drop out of school and like Fuck. just is not it's like the it's like when you hear about somebody saying that um you know like a vaccine affected them or something yeah. and they're like something shifted um this guy ha had a notable mm. break and a shift and he was on a flight and went into the cockpit this is before 9-11 oh my god yeah. well drew always says that on a commercial flight <laughs> was like what's up guys and they're like what are you doing do you remember that when you were a little kid they'd let you do that yeah, you could say hi to the pilots. Yeah, yeah, they used to like, shit. they used to just my lap. be open. Yeah, I and mean, yeah. you just go up there and take a look and be like, hi. Well, he told them to fly towards the sun. <laughs> oh, boy. And they were like, 
You need to go back to your seat. He's like, go there. Dude, if that was nine after 9-11, a f- Marshall would have like put a bullet in the back of oh, yeah. or something. There would have been a dead body in the fucking galley. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, folks, we're going to be diverting to Richmond. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so we, most importantly, have you ever sat on a woman's face and demanded that she eat your butt? We were just talking about the first time I saw that in a porn. It is a it goal of mine. <laughs> I would like to do that. I don't want. I don't know if I demand it. So this is the scenario, okay? Yeah. I'm too young. I'm probably fifth grade, and I've been watching <laughs> porn for a minute, which is, you know, it's too young for your developing mind. But I'm like, this is so awesome, right? Jerking off, watching this stuff, and <laughs> I'm seeing blowjobs and sex. This guy's standing on a bed. Woman's on her knees, and he and she's blowing him. And I'm like, all right. And I remember that the guy was like like a real dirtbag, mm-hmm. and uh, he just. He's getting blown, and then he just turns around and just squats on her mouth and starts jaying himself and, like, holds her head back there. And I was like, he's putting his asshole in her mouth? Like, yeah. I, I couldn't register it, um, what I was seeing. And that was the first time. And I was like, that's that's maybe why I'm so fixated on it, I think. I would really, I don't really like demanding things like that. I would prefer they are, like, they're like, sit on my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they tell you to do it. That, so, and you've had so, nice ladies do it. I have before. a couple. I yeah. cannot believe it. I am blessed with. Wait, all. wait. You've had a nice ladies who let you sit on their faces. N- well, no, no, no. Not. I mean, I'm not necessarily sitting on them, but they have uh, still gotten their mouth to the destination. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> he didn't even have to request it. <laughs> Neither times. Yeah. Did they put you in the baby? I uh, the first baby? lady uh, did uh, put me like she was changing my die die mm-hmm. up in the air legs and. Um, <laughs> Then, then she was like, why no you, warning. Why don't you flip over? And I was like, all right. Well, then she really got in there. Wow. wow. No, no warning. warning. No warning. No. So, so she, she, she didn't even know say she something was going to, me. to a well-kept place. Well, you know? she did say something to me. I, I'll tell you this. This I don't talk about on, in, on stage or anything like that. But there was an aspect of it where she did throw it out there. And you thought she's just talking tales out of school or whatever, you know, talking shit. But I mm. did do a little extra cleanliness back there. Oh, you did? Just okay. in case. Okay. So you, know? you sensed that it was coming. Well, no, I, I've never had a woman throw that out before. I've, yeah. I would never throw it out there, And I thought, personally. like, let's give, maybe she, maybe Wait, have she you will. had a threesome? No, and it's my fucking white whale. I'm dying Listen, over here. <laughs> are you guys out there? Do you want to make Josh come? <laughs> Dude, I've, it's gotten bad because maybe I started. Maybe it takes two at one. I started fan it, like. In recent sex uh, experiences, <laughs> I've started fantasizing that another woman was there. Oh wow! Isn't that terrible? So and it like there. ruins it. Like just so I could get myself. Can I tell you a theory I had faster. about you um, not being able to come? What's that? You know that Alex Trebek just died. Mm-hmm. I have a theory that when you were a child, you were masturbating, mm-hmm. and the Jeopardy theme song came on. And that's why you can't come. Yeah. So it was like, da, na, 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 na. And then. That is a tense can song. You make Josh come. Dun, dun. And then I wouldn't and be done, and I'd be like, oh, and it's like you lose. <laughs> bah, bah. Rest in, rest <laughs> in peace, noise? Alex Trebek. R.I.P. No, poor guy. R.I.P. Uh, yeah, no, he was, he was great. He was he great. Was. And I don't mean to associate him with such a horrific subject. <laughs> but are you good at Jeopardy? No. no. Well, we should, I mean, wouldn't it be an honor if we did like a YMH Jeopardy? Yes. <gasps> That's a really great idea. Like uh, fan trivia. Cool guys mm-hmm. category. Who is 10 to 12 Benadryl guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this gentleman <laughs> ate 10 to 12 Benadryl and. <laughs> no, the question is, yeah. How many of these, what is what is a Benadryl, right? So you have to right. be like. What is 10 to 12 Benadryl? Yeah. 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 I don't know, man. Well, I'm too Art. stupid to even formulate the question. You can't even write the question. I'm so yeah. fucking dumb. <laughs> I mean, I swear, how many times have you watched that show? Could you maybe answer one or two of those questions top? There was a couple categories. I would, I mean. Yeah, you'd have to luck out on categories. For yeah. natural, I mean, we're talking <laughs> yeah. like they would have like uh, uh, 16th century French furniture. Yeah. And that's the subject. <laughs> you're fucked. Like, yeah, you're like, like, God. Who yeah, knows this? A chaise? That's all I know. There was an open mic I used to go to where you'd have to get there early to sign up. And I would get there, you know, early to sign up. And I'd watch Jeopardy every time because it would be on the TV at the bar. So I would like see how many I can get, you know, in my brain. And I would be all right. Not I wouldn't win, but I would be like, I wonder how much money yeah, I could win. Yeah, but you on have. Jeopardy. I have I'll have to say this, uh, even though you're the roach, mm-hmm. um, you actually are pretty like well informed guy. Like you know a lot of things. Like mm-hmm. we'll be talking. I don't about, like to put that out there. <laughs> well, because <laughs> there's going to be something I'm not well informed about, and they'll love to tell me about it. So. Well, but that's saying that like, yeah, you're not informed on everything. What I'm saying is. I've talked. I've had you know countless dinners with you, 
and you know we toured together so we're just bringing up everything and there'll be just like you know random books that you've read subject matters topics that you're pretty well informed on yeah like you're, uh it's amazing what you can do when you don't have a life yeah there you go <laughs> that's what i was getting to no i i uh so i was gonna say you fucking loser i, I like to over promise or under promise and over deliver there you the, go uh, information mm-hmm. and i could see you maybe maybe on a dose or maybe not doing what the guy does in this video which makes me really happy <laughs> and you're just irritated at this song <laughs> i get that it's like animal house there you go that was a form tackle i a would tackle. dream about doing that in a bar I would be telling Like if we um, were at a bar together I'd be like I want to go up there And fucking bash wait, this guy's but, guitar over it. Yeah. But what song What song would make you do that Like uh, for me it's Brown Eyed Girl I'd be like fuck Why don't you like somebody. songs about A girl's asshole That <laughs> Or Red Red Wine, which we know historically I is love Red Red Wine. The worst song. It but, is not the worst song. But the you know what I really hate is like the fake reggae red red wine and make a feel so fine. I keep, keep me talking all, all of the time. time. I don't even I know that, that song. I mean I you know, know it. I know it from 40? the hook. I know yeah. it from the hook, but I don't know I've never listened to reggae. Like it's not like, reggae, it's fake. Or whatever. It's I fake mean, gay. <laughs> it's, it's gay gay. It's gay gay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rude as it shit. is not it's, it's rude so fake uh, i'm trying to think of a good of a song that just anno- i mean that one's pretty bad the one that the guy got annoyed about sweet caroline like if you're I a cover band song. like come on yeah you that's too. so gay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what journeys song? uh don't stop believing makes me that would make you too. see yeah red. that's that one oh, actually yeah. i love some journey songs but that one is like come on you had to put that on and then every girl in the bar is like don't stop believing and then, <laughs> you know. No, you know what song makes me crazy that girls go crazy for? I Will Survive. Ah, like, you're yeah. dating that, yourself a little bit there. I don't know that they still do. Well, like, but yeah. Well, that I is remember, a wedding jam, though, yeah. When I, like, I was in college or something. Now, come on, girls just go crazy. Uh, That's my song. Uh, my, my, my. Oh, yeah. my God, you're right. Because I've been Sometimes to weddings where they're like, uh, yeah. the friend. And then they all like do the thing yeah, in the yeah, yeah in the yeah. circle and shit. Yeah. Yeah, there's so some bad ones. Annoying. Wedding songs pretty much wedding songs <laughs> from like 1990 to 2005. Like if you went to a wedding in that period, you heard all the dog shit. Like <laughs> Cha cha slide, the fucking, yeah. you know, including who let the a, dogs out. Electric slide. Guys ready to party start. Who let the dog? And then dads, like dads, oh, are like, I know this is a rap song. <laughs> was it that way with dancing. like Whoop There It Is? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was too young for Whoop There It Is, but I remember it was like everywhere. It's like shaka laka yeah. sha. It's like there's shut like up, congressmen dude. that are like, I know like Whoop There It Is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was like Bill Clinton. You know when something? <laughs> what was the um the Korean one? Um, Gangnam Style. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I liked that one. Well, yeah, but that but was like is, made to be a joke, and then everyone was. It like, was, but then it was like when your grandmother get like she's like, oh Gangnam Style, then you're like, right. oh this is really. But that's the thing about now. I feel like dumb songs are made to be completely dumb, and they become popular <laughs> ironically. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. do you remember when music? I was thinking about this. Do you remember when music used to be scary? Like yeah. now, I feel like the world is so scary. I don't think yeah, music is a that's true. Like right. now, if you heard like Marilyn Manson, you'd be no one's going to be like, "Oh my god, right. that's the problem." That's why all that music has gone by well, the wayside. Everything with music, you, shock you were people. just like told, like you know, the devil lives in this. That yeah. was the yeah, big thing they were telling fun. you. Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath, Alice you know, Cooper, uh, then and Man Manson, and everything was just like the Satan is here, right, yeah. in these lyrics. That was fun. But if you listen to them now, and like if you if they create new music that way, nothing would like make these children go like oh my god that's scary do you yeah. know what i mean i don't know yeah. billy eilish can be scary sometimes <laughs> if you've seen that last album i mean goodness what's scary though what does she say she just look at her imagery I fucked your dad. no <laughs> that's it i might say you on that crown that video's really scary oh, one by it. one by but like one. even rap oh my music God. like even rap- tackle you right now <laughs> <laughs> what's your song that you would kill a band Come on. What song just makes you see red when you hear it? YMCA? I remember watching karaoke with you one time. Or it wasn't karaoke. It was like live band karaoke, like in a bar attached to a 
comedy club. Yeah. And we were watching it and I felt like every song made you feel that. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate I hate Oh, I hate we built this city. That's a bad one. Yeah. By Starship Enterprise or whatever. Jeff Star Jefferson Starship. Starship. I don't like Starship. watching cover Starship. band shit at all. Cover bands make me annoyed too. Yeah, why are you I even in a band? That. Why are you doing that? Like, you know what I mean? I Unless used to be like, a- what if I just went up there? I was like, I'm Richard Pryor. And did all like <laughs> fucking Richard Pryor jokes. Like, are you kidding me? Like, it's annoying that they can just <laughs> get paid to play other people's music. It's like, oh, you learned that guy's music by heart? Cool. That's true. Because even like my very favorite bands, I wouldn't want to see a cover band. I want to see the real thing. Right. Yeah. It's super gay. Um, That's so gay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, watch this guy on the, on, there's, cause there's a guy who I know is a black guy. Okay. Split, and you can't see him, <laughs> but I know he's a black guy. This is turbulence on a flight. Okay, tell me if you can s- hear the black guy. Wow, bro. What is going on? What is going on? There he is. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's terrifying. Come on. No one's telling these people what's up. Hey, listen. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> idea that you could be like like he's casually like what's going on and then when it gets real crazy he goes what is going on like they're gonna be like all right we're gonna tell you he's like put this on the ground right now if you were sitting near him would you be more scared of the turbulence like i would be laughing so (laughs) So hard hard. yeah it's like being at a movie theater turbulence doesn't freak me out at all it scares me i don't i mean i'm usually too drugged up to uh be (laughs) affected by turbulence yeah like i had a one a flight to phoenix one time where a bird collided into the windshield <gasps> of the plane mm-hmm. and broke the windshield i didn't know this until Whoa. um we landed but it hit the plane and we dropped to the point where the drink cart hit the ceiling and i was like this in the seat like <gasps> and there was a a woman of the same persuasion next to me <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> she goes uh <gasps> Like she freaked out and I, and I was like, it's going to be okay. Like I, that's all I did. Oh, and then wow. I'm sitting there and I go, we almost could have died there. That was yeah. great. I didn't even think about it till afterwards. Yeah. Ugh, scary. I don't like it. Yeah. I would have been so zany, zannied out of my head. I would have been in Xanadu land. I would have been like, you pants. fly like that all the time? Uh, long flights. Yeah. Yeah. How, mu- how much do you take on a, a long bar. flight? A bar? Dude, one time we, I think we were doing shows at Magoobies. I accidentally, and I was scheduling my own travel, and I scheduled myself to fly into D.C. instead of Baltimore, thinking it was the same. I don't know why. Um, I thought D.C. was, like, attached to Baltimore. <laughs> you I know what I mean? Know yeah. It is, yeah. And uh, it turns out it's a half-hour drive. So I took an Uber from the airport to the hotel. And so I get off the plane. I'm still xanadu out of my head. The flight was, like, an hour from Buffalo to D.C., you know, nothing big. I don't even know why I did that. And I get in the uber and i pass out and the guy like wakes me up he's like we're at your hotel like it felt like instantaneously so then on the way back i I go oh yeah i don't remember how long i was in that uber for turn and then i looked at it it turns out it's like a fucking half hour ride and i definitely and i missed my flight for sure on the way back because i thought it was like instant i'm like oh it's like a 10 minute drive to the airport he could have fingered you and stuff he could have really fingered me do you think he may have that's the beauty of being a man <laughs> is that i can get Xanadu in a fucking Uber <laughs> yeah. and not get my you, vagina finger. You don't know. They're, I mean, and like, if I did, I'd be like five stars, bro. Thank you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't a little extra service here. That way. Extra service. Okay, tell me what you think. Do you think this is a man or a woman based on the feet <laughs> and the legs? Okay. Okay. Right there. Woman. <laughs> How is that even possible? I know. <laughs> I know. If that's a woman, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> is that, that looks like a woman's legs and stuff, right? 
I guess so. Yeah, they're very hairless. It could just be a boy. But like Yana, a, I, I would like this audio to be analyzed by our YMH staff because I don't buy its authenticity. Can I tell you one thing? Mm. If it is a woman, like I said, bad. But I've heard women... <laughs> I mean, rips a man. Like, she's really in a position where her legs are in a <laughs> yeah, spot. That's a good place to fart. And who knows, if she's one of these workout people who's doing the proteins and the greens, <laughs> she's been possible. brewing that one up for a while. Yeah. Just the way the intestines are. are and my show, we have listeners submitting queefs. You just did it. <laughs> You're going to be on the episode that comes out the day today. As yeah, yeah. Day. Queefs are different, yeah. Queefs are different, but a couple <laughs> submissions... Of the queefs, they showed video of how they make themselves queef, and the one oh, wow. woman in it accidentally farted a couple times, too. So, And they were fucking... I had to make sure. I had to go through the audio and be like, is that a fart or a queef? <laughs> to verify. And it was fucking meaty. like that. Meaty shit, you know? farts. Yeah. Healthy girls can fart like now, yeah. that. Now, Yana, scary. I might put... This is some evidence that might enlighten you. So mm -hmm. I see a little infant there. I'm assuming the woman who farted just had a baby there yeah so you know holes are loosened up things aren't as tight uh, for another year or two after you give birth so that might explain the meatiness of said fart well it's just a theory now yeah. when you're talking about the sound of a fart mm. you're discussing the looseness of it wouldn't mm. that be more of a <sighs> no sound? yana that is incorrect what happens sometimes is you can't hold a fart after you have children um yeah, they can be beefier, meatier. It's not not like that. No. Like it would be. I'm saying no. this though. When you have a looser bee hole, it, it should stand. And sure, it would flap, but yeah. it would be more of like a yeah. like that kind of thing, as opposed to like like fucking right. when it's tight and it's like. Yeah, that's a good you point. You know what I'm saying? That's a really you know, good point that you're making. I would really like to do some studies on asshole diameter and so fart would sounds. I. So would All I. All I know is that like. I got a pretty tight asshole, and my sounds are the full range. Mm. Right, you can do all of them. I can do well, all of cheeks. them. That's your cheeks. Cheeks, okay. And position of cheeks, and like where, you, how you're sitting, right? I don't Wouldn't know. You say? Tom, we're is talking about talented. sound here, sound design, sound engineering. But that's what I'm saying. My sounds are all all across the board. Yeah. But again, you have to think of the circum. You're not always farting in the same circumstance. Well, you know same what? material of pant, <laughs> same position say maybe seat that it's and also against. what's creating that gas because there's certain things you eat <laughs> i had a travel true. day yesterday i <laughs> flew back and uh i you had I, chicken paprikash for dinner and then this morning your farts were very no, i'm talking about when i got back last night again I, and you had chicken paprikash for no dinner. i'm talking about when Even i got before. back last night he's yeah. talking prior to chicken yeah. paprikash oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it was like just you know, throwing that on the a fire. travel day and i just <laughs> Farted fucking crazy, man. Yeah, like it was really wild. It, it wasn't. It wasn't a result of what I ate last night. It was like what I eaten out of town. And now here's a theory, you guys. You mm -hmm. guys are frequent flyers, as am I. Used to be. Do you think it has something to do with the altitude that that it, it holds the fart up and then you come down? Like, do you think the <laughs> coming up and down affects your farts? What's that shit in diving? What's that uh? <laughs> Oh, the bends of the, the bends yeah it's yeah. like you get the fart bends in the air the bends yeah do you think that affects your farts that's interesting is that a theory <laughs> come on man i don't know <laughs> i don't know that's I mean, the more you know joe my dog major <laughs> <laughs> how excited you, a dog right. in the white house again he's got two i love it mm. i don't trust people who don't have dogs mm. family people and you know his dogs' names are like Major and Champ, like Aww. exactly what you would picture Joe Biden naming his dogs. Right. I can't believe his kid's name is, isn't Major or Champ. It's Hunter, you know? isn't it? Yeah, Hunter. which is the same, I guess. Yeah. 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 Interchangeable. Remember when Sarah Palin? Um... <laughs> Dude, I could totally see you doing his uh, his crack smoking video. Have you seen it? I'd love it's to so be. Rad. I'd love to party with Hunter Biden. That's the thing. It's like it's so dope because like he's just Trump's like kids chilling. never did blow. I mean, come on, give me no, a break. No, of course. Oh and he's yeah. Chilling. And he's looking at the camera like he set it up and he's like, oh, and she's giving him a foot job. And then you're like, all right, are you going to come? And then all of a sudden he's like, Psh, crack pipe. <laughs> Wait, is this like, video wow. out? Did you watch this video? Yeah. This yeah. video exists? Yeah. I yeah. did not know that. Oh, I yeah. saw you tweeting about it, but I was like, he's making a joke. This is a real video? It's a real video. Oh, wow. Yeah. We can't wait to we see can't, this. I'm going to fucking Google everything. Now, here's now. the Holy worst shit. part, though. It was leaked with a blur. Of his dick or his feet? Yeah, no, of his dick, What's even though point? you can still see, like, it's not a, a D 
deep blur. It's lightly blurred, and his dick kind of—he's got a nice piece on him. It's kind of like I'm falling sure. out of Those it. Those Bidens sometimes. are like six two and shit. Yeah, yeah. Really? it's a nice piece on him, but you're like, so that yeah. means whoever leaked it blurred it upon leak because all the sites uh, have it blurred. Yeah, you were trying to find the uncensored. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see but that. That, that 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 speaks to the to the leaker. Well, the leaker might not have have uh, blurred it. Whoever they sold it to might have blurred it, and that's the source file then. Because once yeah, but you it's sell like, it, why are you the leaker selling, would then would not why are leak you the, selling the blurred version? You're not selling the blur. I'm saying that they sold it to one person for uh, a lump sum of money. Uh-huh. That person blurred it. The other people picked up that video. I got you. The original, he wouldn't sell that to multiple. It would ruin his deal. Uh, so there, that's why there's no blur. There's no non-blurred one because he's the only you. one at that with that version. Version, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, he's stroking his dick a lot. And, I like uh, to see the dick. It really bothers me when I can't see genitals. What's the yeah. point? You know. I really, I agree. I, w- I just want to get a good idea of what kind of piece yeah. our new president Now, the has. big <laughs> argument that I've heard is that everybody's like, crack, 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 crack. And then some people jump in and go, it's a meth pipe. Oh. <laughs> well, Christina, what do you have to say? About I would it? think meth over crack. I think crack it's more out. of a meth move, but everyone was saying that he was into crack. What would you want to get a... A, a foot job on would you be hornier with crack or with meth i Probably think that's where meth. we go i've never understood the foot thing uh, why i've just never been on board <laughs> with it i felt like at one point in my life that you turn a certain age and that's when the foot switch goes off or yeah. maybe certain people are willing to let their freak flag fly more in a later age mm-hmm. but i always associated with like older douchebag men that like <laughs> like feet stuff you know what i mean like uh, golfers and shit Golfers? Yeah, like golfers. dads who go golfing. They're like, oh man, look at those feet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I never sure. thought about it like that. Yeah, no. I just never th- heard like a cool person go like, oh man, look at the feet on her. But now, nowadays it's all blurred. But I'm saying like back in the day, you know, when I was coming up, I just <laughs> never heard anyone my age talk about feet sexually. And then I'd always hear like dads and shit be like, oh, look at those feet. And you're you like, hear the you dads about, say you it? Fucking psych- Are you that starved in your marriage <laughs> that you're looking at a foot and like jerking off to it? Like, what the fuck? Really? Yeah. Hmm. And you never, I mean, you heard friends Not dads. my dad. My dad thinks it's gay to like feet. He thinks it's gay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like really? homosexual or lame? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, like a lot of, he thinks a lot of things that aren't homosexual are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which is fun. He's like, that's gay <laughs> as fuck if you like that? Yeah. I, yeah, huh. he's like, my dad, I, it's so wild, dude. Like old, old uh, foreign men. Oh yeah, they are don't really like everything's gay. You know, it's too. My dad would, would always be bothered by the gay pride parade. You know, oh, come <laughs> on, you can be gay, but do you have to flaunting this shit in public? You know oh my god, I, mean? I I just started watching The Sopranos. Yeah, like, just started for the first so time. Good, you huh? know, a whole fucking twenty years later, and I just saw the episode where Uncle Junior like is the his girl is like bragging about how good he eats pussy, and he's like, don't let that shit get out there. <laughs> and it's like, because they think it's gay to eat pussy. That's yeah. great. Yeah, that I was, thought that was so funny to me. Well, it's I like, I thought that because that was a mm. thing in like rap music in the eighties, like they they yeah. had like people being like shit smells like fish, and then like no, nah, I don't I don't do that. That's so the then, whole like, episode is I'm the ragging whole, on them for that. Like all of us as like young teens would be like, oh, I guess you don't do that. That's yeah, that's lame. You don't want to eat a girl out because that's what lame guys do, you know? So we adopted yeah. it. Like, you know. I never, I mean, I'm thankful that I grew up in a time that was more progressive and uh, didn't consider eating pussy gay. I just thought, and then, I, and then I'm like looking at, like listening to all these like fucking like Italians, like, oh, what a fajuk or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? They're like talking, and I'm like, look at the, like how gay are you? Look yeah. at you, you know? Yeah, why like, are you so afraid of puss? Yeah, like get over it, yeah, you put fucking your dick loser. On Jesus. It. Have you heard of deck broom? What's that? Mm-hmm. Is that your mustache? Yeah. Now, oh no, that would be pussy broom, like because you're sweeping it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't feel your pussy broom when you put your mouth on my stuff. I don't know; it doesn't work that way. Yeah, well, makes sense though. But if you don't feel it, not because I've had like know. stubble, you know. Stubble, stubble you can is feel. different. You can feel on the legs, probably. That's why right? this is like softer. Yeah. I don't like eating pussy with a beard because you don't really get to sense all of it. You're like have a, a guard on you. Dude, one of my one of my friends <laughs> you know? at a at a rehearsal dinner for a wedding so was fucking blackout drunk <laughs> and announced that he he liked his lady's feet in front of everybody. <laughs> and he was like he's like it makes me so like I get like, I really want to fuck when I look at your feet and everything. And this was in front of a rehearsal dinner. 
That's so hot. That's great. Yeah. So I bet everyone was like, had a tear in their eye. Our <laughs> 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 dad was so pr- so proud. Are they still together? I love yes. Well, there yeah. you go. Worked yeah. out. Yeah, okay. I just never got the feet thing. Like, no. It wouldn't make my dick yeah, hard. It's like, are, how about you use your hands uh, like but, a human being? But what are you what into? Are we fucking monkeys? You like yeah, weird but it's just, shit. It just, it's your wiring. You What's your I mean? wire? What do you like that's weird? I like all the goods, the regular stuff. Feet yeah, are good. Yeah, but to you, that's regular. But what's good about it? What do you mean? Like, like the way they look? Like, you know, women feet take care very, of their feet. Feet are very sexual. They're shaped beautifully. What I do you do with it? They foot. just touch your dick? Sure, they touch your dick. I feel like I need a hand. I need a hand to grab it. I a foot... Two feet two just feet touching it. I feel like I'm having sex with a. You make their little you like the little. It feels like foot. a handicapped person's handling you. Wait, they're not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's foot phobic, Tom. I'm not yeah. foot phobic. Why can, are you shitting on a very important community? Can I cancel? Can I ask you this question? Yeah. What if Tom wore socks in bed? Are you like, what the fuck are you doing? Are you one of those psychopaths? No. Like, why does it matter? Yeah, it exactly. doesn't matter. It's not. It's not my. Uh, how he likes to sleep is his business. I've. You know, just through the r- hustle and a bustle of sex, you know, like you take your clothes off. I don't think to take my socks off all the time. Oh. And I've had complaints. Yeah, like I've heard. I've like, heard women keep, keeping your socks on, and I'm like, oh, I guess I I'll take them. Oh, off. you I didn't mean even during the love making marital love act? Yeah, yeah, that's that's lame as fuck. If a guy has his socks on, it's just nerdy. It's like, why are you wearing sneakers to bed, weirdo? Take it off. Yeah, I get, but it's weird. you're noticing it? I don't yeah. even know how you notice it. Why do I know it? I see it. It's aesthetic. Wait, do you notice I a girl's feet, it. though? Like, no, do you Not really. Them? I don't ever even pay attention. And it's attention. not for you. Oh, so you, but like if a girl had like It might as well be your elbow. Or, oh, that's what I'm saying. It's so like if, you're like, if you're like, oh man, you ever get an elbow job? I'm like, yeah, I guess no, any no, part I'm of her saying, skin rubbing my dick is cool. It's I'm like, saying <laughs> if she had banged up feet, it doesn't bother you. No, I don't even pay attention. I got you. But I don't want like, I get nervous about mine, not like nervous, like so self-conscious, but like I'll be like, oh man, I didn't like clip my toenails completely. I, I get, oh yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying. Sure. So like, wouldn't socks just be safer? No, it's mm. unattractive. It's so gross. Like, I think you just look like a weirdo. You look like a dork. You look like a prisoner. You know, a dork. I don't think you look like anything because your faces are here, unless you're like fucking flipped around and shit or whatever. Like, who's looking at your feet? I don't know. Mm. I just don't even know how people notice it. Like, if a girl had socks on, I wouldn't even. I'd be like, oh, you had your socks on the whole That's time. That's because you're a boy. Boys yeah. don't care about much. Yeah, you're right. Girls, like, girls like, oh, care you, at stuff. <laughs> See, those are pretty. Feet are very beautiful. If they're if they're nice, they're really pretty. Uh, there's a Let's lot of see. things that are the sunset is like beautiful, those. but I'm not jerking my dick to it. You're not gonna jack your dick to that? <laughs> no. Wait, those how are do you perfect come? Perfect feet. To, to not to feet. <laughs> 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 like tits. Wait, I don't what, know. Do you, what? Those are perfect. Look at those. Those are perfect. It's like yeah. you don't jerk off to Niagara Falls. That is not that strange. It's not that it's strange. I oh, said she it's, has a foot I'm just comparing it. You said it's beautiful, and I agree they are beautiful, but it's not yeah. sexual to me. Not so. I get that. It's just not your thing. It's not yeah. your kink. Yeah, and I never, got, I never your, understood it. Your brain. There's theories on it. You know that that they said that the uh, in your wiring in your brain that the genital pathway neurons are are like crossing with with the uh, foot thing, and so it's like your brain misfiring, telling you that. Hmm. That's a theory. Fetish. Yeah. Yeah, there's just a, I'm noticing a lot of things that don't make my dick hard lately. What else doesn't make your dick hard? <laughs> what about uh, armpit hair? I don't hair? know. I can't even put it on specifics, but I've been like uh, certain types of women have been doing it lately, where I'm just like I can't even have sex with this person, even though I want to. Really? Yeah. Like what? Just like space cadets lately. Usually, um, I was like all about it. I'm like I don't care how dumb this lady is. I'll. Oh, when it. she's real dumb, you get like turned off. Yeah, like yeah. when you're just like not connecting on any. They're just dead behind the eyes, you know? Yeah, I was so wired that way from a young age. I would be, I was like 16 when you should be like, I don't care about anything. I'd be like, this bitch is fucking stupid. I couldn't do it. Really? Yeah. Even when they were stupid, you, I, I picture you going like, this stupid bitch, I can't wait to destroy her. That's what I would think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I would, I remember being aggravated like, like an old person, about, right? About, like rolling my eyes or uh, talking to somebody when I was that young, just like irritated. Yeah, you. By it. But you were very mature when I met you at twenty-three. You were already like a forty-year-old man. Well, yeah. I mean, you were smart. You had nice feet. It was like you know, it all, yeah. worked, all together. <laughs> Done. Yeah. You're oh, you're always put together nicely. But I did get um, I did get irritable at a young age. Yeah. He, oh yeah. He did. Yeah. So did I. I mean, me too. I was a thousand percent. I thank God for weed making me less irritable. What about armpit hair? 
on a woman mm-hmm. yeah doesn't affect me like if it's, unless it's crazy i mean like if a, you know like i've i've uh, been with a few like hippie type ladies mm-hmm. and they maybe like missed a day or two you know or one of those things or they don't care but it's not really a big deal i'm not li- like it's another thing guys like lick armpits and shit like okay i'll i'll meet <laughs> you there i'll meet you there no no i'm saying when you say about like i don't get it yeah see i don't get i get feet I don't get armpits if someone being like, I love licking up, but some people do. They yeah, love some people armpits. do. And as time goes on, mm. that's not going to sound Here's as an weird. Art. It's going to be just like feet someday. This is an article. <laughs> Why are we grossed out by women with armpit hair? That, I, But that woman's pretty with hers, actually. You know, I, I think leg hair mm, fucks me up more than uh, armpit hair. Leg hair. Yeah. Do that? You hate leg hair, right? Oh, yeah. Tom would be livid if I had dark leg hair and i'm I, lucky i'm blonde i don't like doesn't like it i also don't like armpit hair though on a woman yeah i no. mean oh that doesn't I'm, look good how about yeah. a mustache a mustache uh yes that's no? hot i like i like <laughs> okay. a thick mustache on a woman uh oh my god yeah I'm, i mean like if it was egregious where you're like what did you just get off the uh off a boat what you know what you i would here? do if like if somebody if a girl has long leg hair mm-hmm. i immediately treat her like a refugee i'll be like <laughs> you know do you need help do you need food water somewhere to stay that's the thing about the arm i know resources that's the thing about the armpit hair thing like if it was unbelievably long where they're like making a statement i'm like were you stranded on a deserted island for right two years why what are you doing Mm -hmm. you know but if it's like stubble or missed a couple days i don't mind that you've been with um different women and all types have you ever had the big bush like where the girls got like um, yes really and what how did that affect you um Varying t- degrees of affectedness uh, through different times. Like some of them didn't bother me. Like I, I remember, like my, f- very, you know, like when you're super young and you have your like first girlfriend or whatever. Like they don't know to shave. Like I don't know how early you started shaving your box. I knew immediately because I grew up in a city and I read mm. Cosmo magazine <clears throat> and I had girlfriends. So like right when school. it started growing, you were like. <laughs> Oh, no, my mother taught me the minute I had armpit hair, she was like, now it's time to shave. And oh, I started I when I was like nine or 10. I shaved my armpits. And she's like, once you start, you have to do it for your life. And I'm like, yeah, great. I don't want this shit. Yeah. And Th- then your box, you learn when you have a boyfriend. You're like, I don't huh. want like a crazy hairy. Oh, no, sorry. Bathing suits. Because you get pubes and then you want to wear your bathing suit and stuff. So you got to start shaving for that. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I remember like, you know, high school type stuff early high school hooking up type stuff i remember there'd be like a big that never bothered me and then the first time you see like a bald one you're like oh wow that's something <laughs> now what about you though are you shaving your i manscape for stuff? sure 100 yeah. percent. I, I mean i keep the nuts pretty tidy i think that's a fair exchange that guys should tie it up i run up the down there i run the old manscape lawnmower beyond the nuts on the taint i mean it yeah oh, it wow. doesn't scrape shit so i go well, that's back. an invitation that's yeah. an invitation just in case saying. they want to <laughs> get a little yeah, you got a red carpet. You got to pave the tarmac. Well, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Down to down to the <laughs> runway there. There's some uh, there's some other hors d'oeuvres at the end of this thing if you want to try it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh, but I don't scared. shave my uh, pubes all the way to nothing because that yeah. would no, just look that's, odd that's, on me. That's you know, so I was good. thinking about getting you a gift, Ooh. and normally I would surprise, but I wanted to get your take on it first. See if okay. you want it. In today's uncertain times, life can feel overwhelming and leave you struggling for answers. But you can overcome life's challenges. Wake up every morning inspired and looking forward to each day. Introducing the Inspiration Cube, the (laughs) easy to use portable audio system filled with life-changing messages of hope, guidance, and strength from Joel Osteen, one of the world's most inspiring spiritual leaders. You may feel today like you're trapped. That is not how your story ends. Some dreams are waking up, hope is waking up, abundance is waking up. With the simple push of a button, remove those negative thoughts with a new message to inspire your day. God is saying to you, you have struggled long enough. Unexpected blessings are coming your way. Is this the only guy in the fucking thing or what? Joel's greatest yes. inspirations ever assembled. Is it it's his? This yes. Oh my God. Audio listening cube. It's all positive. It's not negative. It's all positive. Changed completely. Start each day uh. with just a touch and sit back for a powerful message of hope 
guidance, and inspiration. The forces that are for you are greater than the forces that are against you. Mm -hmm. It makes you really that was his energized. Quote. God is in control of your life, and boy, have I seen <laughs> blessings. He put the hope in my heart. Refuse the negative thoughts that prevent you from reaching your goals <laughs> and take back control. You can't think negative thoughts and live a positive life. Uh -oh. If you'll get your mind going in the right direction, your life will go in the right direction. Please work, turn it off. It I don't want to hear like any more quotes. In today's <laughs> uncertain <laughs> times, life can feel oh my overwhelming. God, I it the inspiration cue. I can't stop it. You know why this made me makes me very Osteen triggered? For the ultimate Hold collection on. of the most powerful daily. Go ahead. I am upset. This is like my mom would love this fucking cube. Really? <laughs> oh my! Like my mom has like quotes like that, like paint on her walls, like oh, on her fridge, yeah. like in the kitchen. Th that's and a stuff. that's a type above of above her bed. That's a personality. That my mom would do that stuff too. What is that? Uh, Empty words just make you go on. How does that happen? You need. Therapy. I just want to sell our own cube. You I know? think that's a good and one. And you press the button. It's just like, what's up there, Chomo? <laughs> and just right away, you know. Good morning. And you're like, and then you go. There's no positivity. It's all negative. Yeah. <laughs> like the opposite of the Joel Osteen cube. You know. You uh -oh. just lost your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, just like you're fuckhead. You fucked up. You know. Oh my God. You're fired. Okay. You didn't follow protocol. <laughs> what kind of empty-headed fuck hears I just know. stupid generic words and goes thank you so many people so many people, so many people. well Why? and you can't just stop negative thoughts by hearing a positive one it doesn't no, and here's the other thing. you know what it makes no. me think more negative thoughts like i want to murder the person who said the positive <laughs> of course thing i don't i hate those things too everybody's too addicted to their phone so you could actually put the app on your phone and as soon as you touch your phone touch my camera through the fence you the faggot so it's like you know it's really ymh affirmation yeah it's all fed smoker stuff yeah. you know it's a good idea oh. tom just fucking lick that pussy to pieces yeah. he has that, so that would many things to affect say. me way more 10 to 12 benadryl yeah i like We're fuck partners <laughs> well, and, and this Joel Osteen has so much money already. Have you seen the stadiums? Oh, that my God. Well, they just showed one there. That it's was so fucking crazy. How many crazy. people are in that venue? That's Garth level, no? Hire some fucking writers then. I you mean, just wow. ruined your life. <laughs> <laughs> it, I think there's 20,000 plus people there. Let's I mean, see. and he's, okay, he's worth more than $50 million. Jesus. I mean... Are you kidding? And he's definitely had work done on his face, too. He looks crazy He looks now. insane. Yeah. You how, see our boy. How can uh, you take money from people and you're certain? There it is. Isn't, isn't the whole point of Christ to be poor? 16,800. So it's I a mean, cool arena. Christ gave him all that money so he can spread his word. <sighs> it makes yeah. me sick, these guys. They're just leeching money from poor people who believe in them. So sad. This inspiration cube is fucking... You need one. You need. How much is it? How it's much for, is the inspiration cube? Yeah. I will throw it. We're gonna buy it for everybody. Everybody gets one for Christmas here. Why am I? I will throw it off a fucking building. Let's. Can we get one, Zolo? Will you order us an inspiration cube so we can play one during the show if things it's get only, too negative? It's only thirty nine ninety nine. Little say forty dollars. Nothing makes me more upset than little fucking get a couple of sayings those. where it's like, I'm expressing a problem to you, and then you're like, you just have to look at the cup half full. How about you? fucking kill yourself i i swear to god dude i get like <laughs> wait and you know what's so great about the cube? like that's advice like, you know what's so great advice. about this you just cube? lost your life <laughs> is that his audience his demo is so old that he could have just made an app that they could download on their phones but nobody would know how to do that so he's True. like here's a cube just push play that is a good point actually this is completely to jump the app experience he's yeah like, let's build an app and they're like your fans mm -hmm. are not gonna just uh so and cute. also, they're so TikTok that he could just put any garbage <laughs> into that cube. Oh, yeah. And gonna... it's all like even the ones that they displayed up there. It's like, if you're not positive, you're negative. <laughs> and you could ask your cube questions. Cube, what do I do about my new Mexican neighbors? Can't stand them. Oh, yeah. Me neither. <laughs> yeah. Gives you help. You know, it's a helpful cube. This is terrible. And do you think he's got a button there that's like, donate money to Joel Osteen? I'm sure there's something in there. Yeah. It's like, if you don't give, <sighs> then you can't get. You got to give before you can get. Who is just laying in bed, $40? crippling depression, and then they're like, <laughs> inspiration cube. It's like, be positive today. You know, Thank God. All right. I can go about my life. Or <laughs> buy the YMH cube. <laughs> Imagine a pig with tits. <laughs> you know? That actually cheers me up. It would help me get, that yeah. would definitely, yeah. I'd go, oh, I do imagine that, and then i get out of bed. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. A pig with tits. Think about huh. that, huh? Well, I'm going to take a shower. Better hop in the yeah. shower, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. God. Well, what else, Cube? Dr. Drew is like fucks bitches like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. I didn't know that. I'll go I think about that. I want to fuck bitches like crazy. Yeah. Mm. I better make my bed. Yep. <laughs> now, I do like positive affirmations, though. Like I, what? Okay, so Louise Hay, she's dead, but she used to have these cards. You just buy cards, like positive sayings. It's just a way to like, if you do feel like shit, you could be like, oh, okay, that things are going to get better. But it doesn't erase your bad feelings. It's uh, just like. I'm getting angry thinking about. <laughs> you're so against and I really just positive. hate. It's, I'm not against everything positive. I hate the idea of like these words on a piece of paper or a thing said to me on a cube are going to affect me. Well, like they don't change my life in any way or my mindset. They're just fucking a sentence that someone put together I know. and they're cliches. They're cliches. They're cliches. They're, they're, it's, they're it's cliches. almost more like they are dismissive of your feelings with cliches than they are like, trying just, to help you. Maybe you just don't believe in the Lord. <laughs> well, you that's for sure. I am a fucking Jew. That's, that's a motivation. Good, that's a good one. $40 for that horse shit. Man, that guy. Ugh. $40 for that nonsense. God, I mean. I can't even handle it. He's ripping these poor people off. Of course. That, I wonder, it's like a fucking, um, I want to see like the engineering on it. Do you know what I mean? To see if it's yeah. like nicely made. Or Ugh. just a piece of shit. <laughs> it's made in fucking Singapore. I know, you can shit. just Google affirmations. You don't need to. What if you, yeah, what they're if called you had... memes. Like somebody who listened to our show <laughs> accidentally program one to fuck with people. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so that one arrives at some old lady's house and she presses the button and it's like. Mm. So I have a funny question to ask you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cool if I say the N word? She's like, what? what? The old lady's God like, wanted this? We just say it. God, that'd be the best. <laughs> <laughs> if we could sabotage those stupid fucking cues. That would be the best. Oh, God, yeah. I would love that. Oh, yeah. look, <laughs> reviews. I highly recommend the the Joel Cube. Oh, you can oh. read that over there? Yeah, what it told me terrible things. It made me covet my neighbor's wife. On the bright side, it did tell <laughs> me when impending storms were coming so I could lock my doors. What? Guys, you know person. what to do. Yeah. You go and leave your reviews. It seems <laughs> like people are already fucking with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, people are already fucking with it, it seems. Suck it dry. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's the cube. There's the cube. Your inspiration cube. Uh-huh. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. What a fucking cunt. Yeah. Charging old people for an inspiration cube. My mother has God. the words live, laugh, love. I hate that one. The above her one. bed. Oh my God. Live, laugh, love. That one's everywhere. <laughs> that is a, that's an everywhere phrase. I just couldn't imagine hanging it on my wall and then going like, there we go. Like yeah. centering it. Have you been to a girl's apartment where she has live, laugh, love? <laughs> uh, I've been to a plenty of women's apartments who have words on the thing and I go like, oh, I'm I know what kind of caliber intelligence I'm dealing with at this point. Yeah. How are they as lovers when they are like that? They can, they can vary. Or they run yeah. the fucking gamut, you know? But yeah, um, that's a turn. We had one stupid sign. It was meant to be stupid. Remember that one? Like some people eat to live. Oh, I live to eat. Yeah, yeah. like one of those corny. We one. had a few corny ones that we yeah. put on the road, but. I can't. I could not, in all seriousness, put "live, laugh, love" anywhere on my phone. <laughs> so I can put any of this shit. If it's in a fucking life. meme, I'm like <laughs> these empty words that are just supposed to apply no, it to should universally say, to people. Live, <laughs> live, laugh, jump off a building. Yeah, yeah. thankful. Oh, that's another. One. This yeah. shit makes me thankful. crazy. Yeah, y'all, I got this for the house, and y'all, every time I see it, I'm reminded, dude, that I have a lot in my life. This is my I mom's stop. website right here. <laughs> Home. Yeah, um, it just feel it does feel so this trite. Is my happy place. This I put right here, it there, <laughs> and every time I see it, it's a reminder, y'all, that God has given me so much, and I just need to stop and be thankful for it. <laughs> I'll position it in a way like this to make me sound less angry about it, and like I'm the one in the right. Maybe I'm the one in the wrong, and maybe I just like am so broken that these words don't affect me. But I would give my fucking left ball to be so simple to just see like live <laughs> laugh love and just go like thank you and go about that my day makes sense. Yeah. oh wait go up one more native i want to see the house rules there you go house rules let's see no fussing no cussing and what does it say no back talking no back talking. oh we gotta get that one for the for the kitchen yeah that is <laughs> like who's fitting. fucking buying that yeah 
Well, that's somebody whose <laughs> mima or their papa or their peepa uh, <laughs> has some. Old oh no, no, these are my favorite ones. Word of the day: focus. Fuck off, cause you're stupid. <laughs> like when they're aggressive. Those like are that, yeah, the the ones that like, make fun of the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're fine, I suppose. How Home about is this? where you hang your glove. This episode of your mom's house is also brought to you by Roman. It can be awkward or even embarrassing to talk about erectile dysfunction. Usually we brush it off to blame ourselves, but Roman is here to get you the advice you want and help you uh, no need to shame. So with Roman, you get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. Why wouldn't you do that? I mean, part of living a normal, healthy, happy life is having sex and you need your peace to get ready with you. Healthcare professionals will work with you uh, to find the best treatment plan. If medication is appropriate, Roman will ship, will ship you real medicine with free two-day shipping. The whole process is straightforward, discreet, and simple. Just go to GetRoman.com slash mom to get $15 off your first order of ED treatment, a free online visit, and free two-day shipping. That's GetRoman.com slash mom for $15 off your first order of ED treatment. GetRoman.com slash mom. All right, this is very exciting support for your mom's house is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. And here's the great news. Manscaped is taking over the world. It's now available in all of Europe, Canada, UK, and Australia. That means our friends all over the world can now have nice trim balls and dongs. The world is about to get a lot less hairy. You can purchase Manscaped products if you haven't had access thus far. You've gone years without using the right tools for the job, man. Talking about, you know how you've, I don't know, you're probably using uh, uh, rocks that you, you shape in your yard that your uncle helped to fight people in the medieval times. We are way more advanced, and Manscaped can get you something where you won't bleed and lose a testicle just because you want to trim up. Let's try the Lawnmower 3.0, the electric trimmer you've been missing out on. Third generation trimmer features cutting edge ceramic blades. Reduce the uh, possibility of giving it a bad accident. Try the weed whacker. You know, trim those nose hairs up. It's all there, man. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash mom. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash mom. Your balls will thank you. Here we go. Watch this. One, you fucking pricks. Spray water, you fucking assholes. <laughs> oh shit! Come here! Come here, you chicken ass chicken shit bastard! I'm putting this in face Come here, you fucking prick! Come here, you Oh my god. Jesus. Goodness. Scotland knows what's up. Dude. Yeah, if I didn't hear the party. accents, I would have thought that was outside my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> they love to party and drink. You think he's drunk? You're good nothing. Oh, comes a popo. Hey! They're like, oh yeah, that's Phil. I'm, I, I'm more concerned he wasn't wearing a mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the real worry. <laughs> that's why they arrested him, after all. Yeah. Awesome. She had a fire hose on him. Was that what that was? Yeah. Like a, I mean, a fire whatever extinguisher. But that that was water. wild. I mean... Yeah. Uh, that's got to be cold. Yeah, I mean, I've had some drunk hobos uh, walking by my apartment that sound like that in the middle of the <laughs> night, and I, don't, I just let them keep going. I don't really have to throw things at them and stuff. You don't really want to rile someone up that's walking <laughs> by like that, you know? I don't think so. No, you no, just They know where you live now, also. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's and they point. tend to, like, remember those things. Yeah, you could. You have to stay there. They they get to leave and come back, perhaps. Yeah. I have, um, I have a blind homeless man that uh, li- <laughs> lives outside my apartment. Really? Like, 10 feet from my actual bed. Like, <laughs> it's wild how close that we actually sleep if you do the measurements. And <laughs> it's like... So he's blind, so it's scary because it's like, is this me in the future coming to talk to me? Because he sleeps there every day. What how, oh. that close to you? Like it, it's like my bed is here. There's a wall, obviously, <laughs> and then there's like some grass that goes about, you know, ten yards, mm-hmm. and then there's a fence, 
and then the sidewalk, mm-hmm. and he sleeps on the sidewalk right there, like parallel with me. I got oh, you. Like I hear him snoring in the night. You oh do. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Do you ever um, talk to him? I have. His name is Yellow Feather, and uh, he um, doesn't have much to say other than like conspiracies and nonsense. Oh, he does. Oh yeah. I don't even really follow. I can't follow it, so I couldn't like regurgitate oh, it. schizophrenic. Too. But then he has a little. I don't know where he gets it, but he every now and then he has an AM radio. That mm-hmm. he's listening to outside my apartment. You ever too, give him a beer nice. or something? Or? I've given him a couple cigarettes. You know, oh, I yeah. actually paid him to go sleep somewhere else a couple times. <laughs> no, you did not. I swear to God. Tell me that story. I just was like, "Hey, man!" Like, because he'll get drunk and just scream and shit. Like, go like he goes like, "Hey, hey!" Like he's trying not to puke in like the middle of the night, ten yards from where I sleep. So I am like, "Hey, man! If I give you twenty bucks, will you like?" <laughs> take a walk and go sleep you know a couple of yards away at least or something like that and he has and i told him i'm like how much for you to like stay away for a week <laughs> you asked him this yeah and he's like oh <laughs> and so i gave him 20 bucks again and i'm like and then he didn't come back but it's been getting cold so he's been outside lately yeah it, it is cold <laughs> you're like hey, here's 20 bucks just take a walk yeah can you give him a blanket no, I, I have barely any blankets for my fucking self. I'm All right, gonna give I'm him gonna one. give you a blanket to give Yellow Feather. It's Fuck so Yellow Feather. Give old. it to for me to have. All right, I'll give you. I'll we'll give, give you two, two blankets. blankets. Okay. I'll Fuck. hook Yellow Feather up. He's fine. He <laughs> sleeps outside. So do everyone right now. It's so cold. What's the difference between him and me? Ten yards in a wall. I know. It's scary. I mean, really, if in a mattress. Now obviously. let me ask you this: If you were to switch spaces. How do you think that would make you feel? And do you think maybe you'd be more thankful for the situation you're in? Um, <laughs> Live, laugh, love, Josh. I would think if I was Yellow Feather, mm-hmm. I would be like, look at this fucking loser paying over a G to sleep right there. And I'm right here. Yep. No. We're, the, we're sleeping in the same place, essentially. That's crazy, dude. Listen, we don't know if I'm not that person someday anyway. So, yeah, I, I am thankful. But I don't know that that's not in my cards. To be homeless? Yeah. Who knows? I would kill myself before I was homeless, but you would. Yeah, you're not going to be homeless, Josh. You're not. No, it's not going to happen. We're not going to let you be homeless. Because, like, I don't you th- you ever put? There's so many around right now that you have to think about them. Oh my them. gosh! So I always go like, would I put a tent up here on the corner of Vermont and Sunset, or would I just jump off the 101? There's a guy who's who's living on the bridge <laughs> of the 101. Why, what are we doing? There's a guy now. You know, one of, <laughs> one of the bridges over the 101. Yeah. In Tarzana, and he just puts a lawn chair there, and now he lives there on the bridge, and he sits over the freeway, and he just watches cars. It's doesn't sound there. fruitful to me. <laughs> doesn't sound I bet you would jump off the overpass onto the one on one and live. And live, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I would visit you in the hospital, and, and I'd be, like, be like, "This is your friend." I'd be like, "What happened?" You're like, "Well, we amputated three or four limbs. He still got his left leg." I just like, torso and shit. Like, I just like, I blow into my thing, and I'm like, and I think I think he's saying to kill him. <laughs> and they spent so much money to save you, yeah. and people don't. It's donated. just in my. I'm trying to like blink with oh. my eyes, like stop, smother me with my, pillow. like just like. Just so desperate, just can't express it in any way. I have a pen. I'm like, can't, like I can't even write it. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. K. I think that's a K. <laughs> kiss him. He wants kisses. Aw. He wants a kiss. The poor fella. You're gonna get through this, buddy. And I'm just like, yeah. a prison of my own body. And then they're like, you would not. They go. I think he had an accident and he fell. And you're like, I jumped. <laughs> oh, I want to die. <laughs> I think you would be a prostitute before you became homeless. <laughs> I would, hey, I'd be a prostitute right fucking now That's if there was I'm a saying. demand for such a thing. <laughs> Who's out there going, I'm trying to get him to do it for fucking fun, let alone pay me uh, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you probably have more male clients than female clients? Ugh, yeah, that's true. That would be rough. I don't think I could. I mean, I'm not a, a homophobe or anything like that. I just can't. Uh, I couldn't fake it enough for them to be satisfied. That's true. Yeah. Like, God, you know? Yeah, no, I know. But yeah, I don't understand the whole like. I wish you'd be. I'll put my up. tent right here outside this Rite Aid. Oh my God, Rite Aids are so dicey in L.A. now. <laughs> I haven't been. All the CBS <laughs> Rite Aids always have like a like a hang. At least some mental illness happening uh, inside yeah. of it, where it's just like, where's the? 
And they're fucking <laughs> yelling and shit. Yeah, it's always crazy. <laughs> Ma'am, can you put your mask on? And she's like, I don't care. It's like bear, she barely has her pants on, let alone mask. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking that wild out there right so now. So bad, dude. One time, I, so uh, there was a crazy old lady outside <laughs> the CVS. And she was like, bah, 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 bah. I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right. And I reached in my pocket and I just gave her 20 bucks. And she was like, oh, and she tried to hug me. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, don't, <laughs> don't put your hands on me. She was like so emotional about it. Babe. Yeah. Babe. Well, She's, that's what made me worried about Yellow Feather was that he started coming back because I was incentivizing him. To oh, him. right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. You fed the stray cat. Yep. God, and then I, I, I then I, they're honest to God, you got to start started bringing him. other people to sleep there. <gasps> like they were having oh little God. like hobo parties. And I thought it was because I gave them and I'm like, I'm not giving all these fucking. So I just like hole up inside. I you you got to start going out there and be like, hey, I put a little Easter egg on the corner of Normandy. And <laughs> like, like just have them like look for it. Be like, yeah, there's a hundred bucks over there. <laughs> but it's three and a half miles away. You got to get over there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am impressed with all the tents. Placebo. Ooh, I'm sorry. It's when like you're um, when you're constipated and you have trouble pooping in public places, but you have to really go to the bathroom. So you go to into a gas station and you sit down and you pretend to poop, or you go through the motions at least, and then you um, you know, you get up and go on your way. And there's something what? about it that just works so well. What works? You can last maybe three days minimum, five max, off of that before you're you know, before you lose control. But hey, if you need a quick fix and you know you're not gonna be able to go to the bathroom, just pretend to go to the bathroom, and your your body will the motions will uh, you know that's how it works. <laughs> I'm not sure what the utility is. Uh, this, this is kind of like the any school of going to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So he's like, I pretend to go. He's and like, it satisfies. Yeah. If you if you really need to take a shit, but you don't want to, he's saying just sit down on the toilet. Your body will think that it's doing it, and mm. then you can last longer. You could last minimum of three days, maximum. Well, I have happens? the reverse happen. I, I don't even shitting. have to shit, and I'll just go like, yeah. hey, I gotta go kill some time. Like remember when I had an <laughs> office job, I would just <laughs> I would go to the take it pretend to take a shit like all the time Same. i would sit in there for 20 minutes at a time looking at my phone and uh sometimes even when i didn't have to i'd be sitting there and I'd go huh i'm taking a shit right now yeah <laughs> you know it just that's come true out. i can i can motivate myself to shit too if i just feel like a little fart i could be like i can shit right now and but it wasn't it even motivation happens. it was just through me sitting on the toilet my yeah. butt was like hey we're here we might as well dump some shit out of our body <laughs> You know, that's a neat story. Yeah. Who's this fucking like? What's? I don't know. I don't like this guy's whole thing. It's not for me. He's he's very weird. I'm into shitting. I like to shit. Now you both, I think, both covered. Um, we lost a great a great man um, a week or so ago, Sean Connery, mm -hmm. and you both discussed on your respective shows the famous interview with Barbara Walters. Yes, we talked. We played about it on this. your mom's house like eight years ago because uh, it's so old, but. It's kind of cool to remind people, and I um. <laughs> when well, somebody is, dies, now, I want to put this on my wall for the record. This is yeah. an inspirational quote that I'll put on my bed behind my bed. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. You did an interview in which you said it's not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. Mm. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I didn't love that. I haven't changed my opinion. <laughs> you haven't. No. Not at all. You think it's good to slap a woman? No, I don't think it's good. I don't think it's bad. It I don't think it's that bad. I think that it depends entirely on the circumstances and if it merits it. Yeah. Well, what would merit it? Well, if you have tried everything else, and women are pretty good at this, <laughs> they, they can't leave it alone. Yeah? They don't they want to have the, the, the last word, and you give them the laugh, last word, but they're not happy with the last word. Yep. They want to say it again yep. and, and get into a really provocative situation. Then. I think it's absolutely right. That's what's up. What? Yeah. You you agree with him? I do. I do. I, I do agree with him. You guys just and open I, slapped hands. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's making a great point, and I think <laughs> that some people don't know when to, like, you know, button it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes you give them a little reminder. I, uh, I yeah. mean, I 100% agree. I mean, you set, you set <laughs> reminders on your phone, right? You got alarms? Yeah. 
This is just a real life alarm. And it's an open hand. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I think my dad shares this philosophy too. He's yeah. like, yeah, sometimes you go to hit the woman. I mean, I mean, what if she's like talking, talking, talking? That, I think so. Yeah. I don't think he ever really did, yeah. but he would be. He would like this clip. I actually it's took it's that funny. quote and made an inspirational Instagram <laughs> thing. Nadav, it's on my Instagram if you want to. Oh, I would oh. love to see this. Um, but yeah, no, I, ah, man, he's just, I loved all the Hollywood people being like, what a great, like, you know, the same people who like, you know, would bemoan, uh, somebody who did much lesser things in yeah. their day and said lesser things in the past. Like <laughs> you ain't getting rid of my ladybugs. <laughs> yeah. Ladybugs. <laughs> That's a different one. That one yeah. you could put above too, but, uh, <laughs> YMH favorite. <laughs> Lindsey Graham won. Yeah, he won. So he's got. That's why he's like me and my ladybugs still here. (laughs) We're we're still gonna be (laughs) making the rules, y'all. It's down when Sean. There it is. Right there. There you go. (laughs) It's not the worst thing to slap a woman (laughs) now and then. That's awesome. Sean Connery. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Everybody did. uh, By the way, honor him and oh my god, what an amazing man in the era of. He is the people. he is literally yeah, the God. personification of misogyny. Yeah. Mm. Hello, well, money, penny. I mean, he was Bond. I mean, everything. All like right. all the things. Do you know what I'm but saying? I, like, but here's the deal, man. And I we talked. I talked about this on where my mom's at. Is that first of all, this fool is almost a hundred years old. I right. Fool was born in was it 1930? Oh no, I am on your side. So yeah, but 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 everyone's like toxic masculinity. The problem is, it's kind of fucking hot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. He got laid. He was a strong male character. It's fucking hot. Chicks oh, want to no. bang that guy. I am on your team, 100%. That's why I, I didn't love actually Tom. S- when he hits me, I get it. I didn't see anybody. Were people literally out, like, were people actually, like, when he died, being outraged? Because yeah, I saw the opposite. I saw the no. woke, the wokies being like, what a great man, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, at the same time, it just made it sound hypocritical but compared to... Can I tell you what I think is really going on in this clip, though? Yeah. Because that's, that's what I told Christina. I think it's... Because this is a very relatable when somebody, uh, they were just laugh. They're coming out of a laugh, like a good moment, and then she pivots. It's a, like kind of like a what journalists interviewers are you know it love puts to you do. On the spot, yeah. Put you on the spot it's about gotcha. one of your fuck you, one of your fuck ups, and everybody's been in that position where like someone calls you out and you're like, yeah, you know, like you. She wants him to. She wants to shame him, right. and so he's very aware of that. And in the moment. It, it's a very it's it's a very in the moment decision. You remember we saying that, and he was like, "Yeah, and you know what?" Because he knows what she's doing. He's like, "And you know, I still believe that." And it's like you, he might not really believe, probably doesn't, but yeah, he probably hasn't about, slapped the woman in years. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's probably been like at least <laughs> a month. So old, yeah. yeah. Too. I mean, and he's like, you know what? You're trying to embarrass me, so fuck you. That, no, that's no, yeah, sure, yeah, because she, she did the typical the way that he was laughing. It's like let's disarm him completely, and then. Bam! And so then get him. it's like a thing where you're caught off guard and you say something that perhaps it's you don't like mean. the Mike Tyson interview in uh, in Toronto when the guy's like, "Oh, you're here with your show. That's cool. Now you have spent time with the mayor, and of course you're a convicted oh, rapist." Yeah. And then Tyson was like, "What? You can't do that with Mike Tyson. You're not playing with the same kind of deck of cards, right? So you can't really try." Well, then and, like, Mike goes, "You're a piece of shit." And yeah. He goes, "Hey, we're on morning TV." He's like, "Fuck you. Yeah, you. What are you going to do about it?" Yeah, bitch. Yeah. And then that guy's like, uh, I think everyone will help me here. Everyone was like, we're not going to help you. I will murder you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like Mike Tyson will fucking. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great? How great would that to go on? I would love to go on morning TV like that oh and be God. like, hey, what the fuck's up? Every-? You know what I mean? Just yeah. like start swearing. So they kick you off like <laughs> right away and like get it out. It would go viral in a second. That sounds like t- Maybe I'll do that if I go. On. You know, it'd be great <laughs> in this clip. If Sean Connery had ended the bit with like, yeah, I hit a woman and I'll fucking hit you too, bitch. Or You're if he just bitch. literally and ended he it with Barbara. hitting her. Yeah. 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 So over, great. Smacked her. He's like, oh. He's like, I, and that'll teach you to be rude in an interview right there. Yeah. I just gave you my time. <laughs> Damn. And you're being rude. I quite like to do that. I was like, do you think he really hit women? Did any women come out with that? Like Sean Connery hit me? I don't know. No, I think it's more like you said. It's just old, like old the guy from dudes. 1930. That means he was 15 in 1945 when World War II was ending. Yeah. And his dad was probably like, if you take a dame out and she really yaps back at you, just give, give her a pop in the mouth. Yeah, that know? was like yeah. values back then. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, the oh, mo- his mom you. probably said that too. She's yeah. like, you know, you get these women get too mouthy these days. Yeah. They need a good slap. Um, Open hand. Don't knock their teeth out, yeah. okay? Have you ever been asked during sex to slap oh. the woman? He beats the shit out of me every time. You get slapped across the face? Holy I shit. I got these big fake teeth in the front. 
Tom oh knocked down my teeth. God, wow. dog, really? Oh, he is brutal, savage. Oh. I I used to. How think... do you not bruise? Ugh, you should see what. That's why I wear these sweatshirts. You I know used what I mean? to think that I couldn't do it. You know. Yeah. But well, now, I thought I think that too. I think I could do it. But it's your wife. It's fine. I think I could do the choking, slapping thing. Yeah, we do it all the time, babe. No, we don't. But <laughs> we can start. <laughs> I, I couldn't think of you as someone who would stand for a slap across the face. There are girls who are like fucking slap. Yeah. And it is scary. I don't yeah, you got to be that. careful with that. I you've been like asked that. that? You've been asked for that? Yeah, slap me across my face. What do you do? You say no? Well, I did it really softly. At, and they're like, what was that? Like, you know, and I'm like, oh, you. <laughs> like, I'm not going to fucking do it. And they're like, why not, you bitch? Yeah, and they basically get upset with you, but I'm not going to. I'd rather that than them go like, ha, <laughs> Officer, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. I Especially feel like if, if, if I was on the market today and I ran into one of those, I'd probably fuck up. You know, if somebody was like, slap me, I would be like, oh, I've been working on punches for a while now. Yeah. You know, the invitation might be a little too open. Too exciting, and then yeah. you're just like, go a little too full bore. I go full slap. She's out. I come and I'm like, what do I do now? Like, there's evidence. You, you cannot. Know? This girl is like, this one girl is like, fucking beat me. Jeez. Like that, like, and I'm like, I'm never gonna be able to do that. So. No, don't do it. Here's a thousand milligram powder right here. Uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> That's okay. Whoa. Whoa! Killer! Oh shit! Oh my god, dude! That'd be <gasps> so fun. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Damn! I'd be panicking pretty hard. I'd be pretty. As long as I didn't fall off the first time, I'm good. Holy That's shit. That's terrifying. This is a fucking guy on a, I don't know, 70 foot tree. And he just Palm chopped tree. off the top of it. And then the tree is just swinging wildly because of the loss of the weight, you know? Of the head of it. Yeah. The head he chopped off. Jesus Christ. They do this around it. LA, I've learned. Yeah. With the, with the really tall trees. Because I always wondered that. Those things fall off and they could like kill people. Palm fronds? Oh, yeah. yeah. When there's like wind, there's very windy outside. Those palm fronds can kill people. That's great. That's like a uh, West That's Coast scary. icicles. You want to see uh, <laughs> You want to see Christina on 10 milligrams of weed? Oh, my God. You have a video just, of it? Just 10 milligrams. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. did 10? Out. Look. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Get, yeah, that's hair. Can I get the toilet? Bro, you are faded. <laughs> Yo. Bro, this dude's at work. Crossfados Barbados is that work. Big time, homie. He's, he's, did, he's shot up at work, that's, that's all. That's crazy, bro. You need to shut She's down. trying to get gas. I need toilet paper. Fuck. This guy's. He'll get through it. Let him work it out. And that's what you do. Well, he's working it out, all right? <laughs> he's fucking. Need, she need gas and I want toilet paper. He cannot work the register, guys. He's in a fight right now. He's just got to get through it, all right? <laughs> he's battling. How does he stay standing? Right. He's battling. I'm telling you. He's just got to get the knot out. He's got to lay down. He'll be all right. Do you know how mad the owner is? Like the owner of the gas station? He's like, like, how do you do heroin in my... (laughs) (laughs) I give you a job, you heroin high. You fucking do the heroin in my store. All right. Before um, we get to your... um, These talks real quick. Oh, you got some talks, huh? A couple talks. You got to watch a couple talks. God, doing heroin, that's... I'm not going to do it till I'm in the grave, but I'm going to do it someday. Don't risk it. Um, Not till I'm... Well in the great, like if I'm, yeah, once I lose don't. facilities of my ass, like where you can't wipe your ass. Yeah. Like when you get that old, you know, when you can't wipe your ass anymore. Here's the deal, man, is that I think doing heroin is just very involved because the, the problem is you have to keep doing heroin. Mm. You're always on the, the hunt and the grind of like getting the money to get the smack and finding, you know. If I'm an old man who's got Fuck. social security, nothing else going on. Yeah. Why not? You no, I know. I know. orgasms. That's true. You just have to have a runner get your drugs for you, I guess. Let's yeah. yeah. Tell people, though, that about the Roche Motel. Just real quick. Oh, um, about the show itself? Yeah, just the show itself. Well, it's uh, it's a... Uh, it's my show, and uh, we cover all kinds of topics, ranging from news stories to sports stories. Nothing uh, that uh, is actually serious, so you don't have to worry about that. We're not talking uh, hard-hitting uh, facts Salary and things cap like that. Things, yeah. Salary cap things, and on the no. news side, we're not talking about fucking polls and shit. But um, 
I'm having fun doing it, and uh, it seems like people are enjoying watching it. Yeah. And uh, you were just on the latest episode that came out today. Yep. And um, thank you for doing that, by the way. I hope you had fun, and I, I think did. it was a good time. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll have a uh, guest in the Roach Motel every now and again. Uh, we'll have the vacancy, no vacancy sign on. But um, <laughs> for the most part, it's just going to be me rocking out, doing my thing, you know? Yeah, I'm excited Queefing, for you, man. You play Queefs. We you... have Queef of the Week. Play Queefs. We got... So we got to get some more Roach Motel at ymhpodcast.com. Please submit your queefs because send your uh, queefs in <laughs> important stuff. And and I'm and I have to pr- uh, emphasize this point. Please stop sending porn star queefs. We want natural, oh, real, queefs. real, authentic. And if queefs. you're a man, you got to get it from your mother, your wife, your sister, whatever you know. That's how you get queefs it. above eighteen. Queefs above eighteen, of yeah, course. Yes, queefs. of course. Yes, queefs above my, 18. my above eighteen queefs. Before I get to talk, did you see this? Um, Fuck off. I've seen a lot of those over the so course great. of the, on the air. Years. Yeah. yeah, I've Pretty seen a cool. few of those over the course of the years where uh, he told, so the reporter told him to fuck off. Yeah. yeah. Did he know he was on the air? I don't think he knew he was on the air. Uh, yeah, he probably didn't because he probably wouldn't have said that yeah. otherwise. If he, but how great is it now that Trump Hold on, is, Erica, I'm going to tell him to oh, wait, fuck off. Because <laughs> does it start that he's on the air? Maybe he did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's in it. I think he said buzz off. Oh. He said buzz off. Now that I hear it again, I heard buzz off, not fuck off. Without looking. Yeah, he does say buzz. It's buzz off. It's not fuck off. But buzz? I wish I were. Fu- it's buzz. It's buzz. It's buzz off. Oh. But you know what's been great since Trump got, uh, since Biden won, is that now Anderson Cooper's letting loose. All of it on CNN is letting loose and saying crazy shit. Like well, Anderson they've been, they've called been him. To just Hold a tur- on. An obese turtle upside down flailing yeah, in the yeah, sun. Like yeah. that was pretty wild. They've been holding this shit for four years. It's, it's great. It's a lot. Um reporters is, cursing on the air though is my favorite thing. Like, that is the best. And then they have to address an apo- or issue an apology yeah, as if pl- we're fucking children. Yeah. My child heard the reporter say fuck. And then they yeah. say fuck in their minivan every fucking two seconds. Of course. <laughs> Hi there. Barry Hellman here. Still sick, but I want to bring. Some, it was brought to my attention that uh, Christian and Todd was a uh, was a uh, over overdosed on pills. I wish you luck. <laughs> Thank you. That's Kyle Dunnigan's new character, everyone. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so um, this has become quite meta now, in that our listeners are getting responses from our favorite TikTokers. Yeah, so Barry Hellman. Barry Hellman. A solid and talker. Is it like Cameo where you can send a request thing in? No. No. They just, just write the comments. The comments. So much so that you would think Garth would acknowledge us at some point. But, you know. That, that one is crazy. This guy, <laughs> he probably has like one comment and he yeah. just blows his load. He's like, holy shit. <laughs> Somebody commented. I have to talk about this for a week. Yeah. Barry Hellman. Do I believe in God? <laughs> <laughs> no. She broke her phone. I found that one. I was going to say, I don't remember that one. Yeah. That was good, Tom. Hey, yeah. I'm proud of you. Thanks. You came to the dark side of the force. Pretty Welcome cool. to Dark Talks. No problem. Your feed is looking pure. My bio on TikTok says I'm single, but my Facebook relationship status says I'm taken. I am not joking. Okay. I really am taken. Oh. Mm. Bye. Sorry, Josh. Mm. Well, her eyebrow status is saying single as well. <laughs> <laughs> You see, because there's one. There's only one. Yes. <laughs> Good one, buddy. Thanks, I man. <laughs> My name is Paula, not Karen, you fucking bullies. <laughs> fucking eat shit and die, you fucking bullies. All the people that are dead from suicide, from people like you, you fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> I wonder how many Karens did kill themselves. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like how many are like they called me a Karen? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you none. <laughs> none. None. I bet you there's zero. My queen's above eighteen. Here he is. I'm over here in Menor, delivering a load. It was four thirty when I woke up <laughs> and started driving. That was too early to give you beautiful women a call. So it's time to wake up. It's eight a.m. on a Friday morning. Everything looking beautiful and uh, 
Menor, Ohio. Menor, Ohio. And you guys have a wonderful day. My queen's above 18. I love you all. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye, King. Now, oh, come more. on, my queens. Let's do the King Challenge. I'm waiting for the videos. Send me a video. Let me know when you do them, and I'll look them up. Or send them to my private messaging. I would love to see them. I love my queens above 18. You guys have a beautiful day, and I will talk to you tonight. Let's all do a fun video. What's the What's the king challenge? The king challenge. Why don't you break it down? <laughs> I mean, so the, you have to be above 18. Of course, yeah. Um, and you put on a white T-shirt. Just have fun with it and spray yourself down with water and then send that But everybody video. has fun doing it. Everybody has fun. Oh, I mean, I. it sounds <laughs> like fun. I might go do it for yeah. the king. I don't know if you fit the queen that he's looking for though mm -hmm. not those kinds of queens. Do you have the latest one that he posted uh no that, that literally just dropped we don't have that prepped yet i, mean, I would have thought you, this guy was play it from the source like if yeah. you send it to him yeah can i may i send it to you yeah email it to me are we sure this isn't just dan blazarian's like brother or something <laughs> <laughs> good call you know good with call. those headphones and everything i mean yeah. it looks like he's really flossing yeah okay, native i'm mm. sending to you right now stunt 101 man um menor ohio <laughs> well i do you know what i do like the change of shirt i think the green is definitely a nice color on the when cake. you're that size you want a real electric color let people know yeah really so you I'm can't here. get missed yeah you know well i'm in your neighborhood going ding dong is this him <laughs> don't get me oh don't get me oh it's just me. oh, oh, oh. Well, what the fuck is this, bro? Oh. What is this? <laughs> it's called just fun with the... Uh... I like this watermelon head filter. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Fun with filter. Okay, now, so this is the it most... It would be fun if you got a real watermelon. This, is the, this is the most recent... This is the most recent talk right oh, here. Oh, over here? Sorry, yeah. You're, but, yeah. Hmm. Here we go. Of 18. I just had a young lady show me the video of your mom's house. And I didn't catch it the first time that Christine, what she said, but I caught it the second time. Christine, how can you call me a pedophile rapist <laughs> when you don't even know me? Yeah. You don't know how I am. You don't know anything mm. about me, but you want to label me as a pedophile rapist. I know I am you. giving women encouragement <laughs> and telling them how beautiful they are and you want to call me a pedophile rapist that's true that is very self-centered i don't want you to wear my stuff on your show <laughs> i retract that video <laughs> you have a good day how dare you in my queen so you okay. called him that you said those those horrible words well, about him listen i have two kings next to me do you think what what he's doing is a little creepy uh it's not a pedophile he's emphasized plus 18 i don't know if you heard that I, part. I think he is and you know what i will give him that that is definitely factually inaccurate that he he cannot be a pedophile because he is above 18 he says above 18 it's a big so deal the i apologize king you're absolutely right about that however it's still creepy it's a little it's a little hey i don't know how it's creepy king i don't know what she's talking about <laughs> king i got your back i'm jealous i didn't come up with it Frankly, the I challenge? think you're just what you're doing <laughs> is you're putting out this positive energy to all these women out there who are like, I don't feel so good about myself. And you're telling <laughs> them that they're beautiful and they can have fun by doing the King Challenge and getting a white t shirt, and not wearing a bra, maybe wetting themselves down. He's yeah. totally making filling a fun their video. That's yeah. true. Yeah. And I think it's really cool that you're doing it. And I hope you don't let <laughs> her negativity get you down. And I don't think you're a rapist. I mean, maybe I need to do the challenge, and yeah, that would really. I think that would make it up to the king. That would You've make offended make him amends, quite a yeah. bit, and I think your um, olive branch should be pouring water. What on if you did? Shirt. Like you're like I, I got white t-shirt, and you sent <laughs> to him, and he just wrote back like, "Seen better." <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, he ranks them. Yeah, hey. like those chicks on OnlyFans. Do you know that on OnlyFans you could pay five dollars, ten dollars, whatever, to a woman to rate your penis? That's like the new oh, thing now. Cool. To like I would do your that. favorite porn star to rate your penis. How does she rate it? I like don't know. It? I don't really. I've actually wondered that myself, but I've never wondered enough to try. Well, you're what you're asking is like a food critic. How do they rate five star meals? I mean, you're you're talking to a dick connoisseur. What do you mean? And they're influxed with dick pics all the time. Guys right. love yeah. sending their porn stars f their dicks. 
So this is a way for them to monetize smart. that sort of thing. That's Very so smart. smart. And I bet they tell them they're all good. Sir, typical. Turn around. Mind your business. I was thinking yeah. of him. Don't you worry about what's going on back You're here. You're making my plane late. That's hey, you know what? Business. You're making your plane late because you're in my business. Turn your ass around. Really? How's that guy turning in a plane seat? I just thought you would like the confrontation. It was there. super confrontational. That guy, how is he even maneuvering like that inside of a airplane? I know, he's, he's really, fucking massive. Really fast. Jesus Christ. I thought we were about to see someone's heads get bashed in. Holy Which shit. one? Which I one thought the guy, because the guy walking up there that was just yeah, told to sit tall. down, I thought he was coming over to straighten this dude out. <laughs> what the fuck? She is eating plaster. God. This is from the Ukraine. This is a Ukrainian TikTok. She's pretty hot. I know. It's weird that she's eating plaster. Plaster? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks that's what she likes? I mean, that's just the video is that she's eating a solid thing of plaster. I know I know a thing she wouldn't be too afraid to eat after eating that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the fact that you have to, like, give her, you know... Uh, credibility on anything after you see her doing that like if that's your girl and she's like you know what i think we should do <laughs> you know with the, the city ordinance and be like you shut the fuck up about everything <laughs> or just like emotional You've been eating the walls just like parts of your relationship she's like eating on the drywall and, you're, and yeah. she's like i just think we have to communicate more and you're like what you're fucking you're so daffy. crazy you're yeah. such a daffy i mean this is wild i mean maybe she has that Disorder where people like to eat bizarro things like dirt, inanimate objects. I forget what it's called. Not now what makes less sense to you? This or feet? No. You have to think on that? Like maybe she's just displaying the strength of her teeth though. She's eating plaster. Mm. Strong teeth. Really? My teeth would fall right out doing that. Right? That's what Especially I'm saying. these veneers. So maybe it's a show off, like a flex. Oh, uh, like a Russian flex? Like look how strong my teeth are. Yeah. Can I get your number? No, I'm married. I don't care. You're hot. Be gone. I think I love you. That was for you. What <laughs> I imagine that What's the lesson? That happens to you a lot. All the time. I'd be and like 716. <laughs> yep. What do you do if some hope said that to you? What would you say? Just like him. I'm married. And she's like, I don't care. You're hot. I'd be like, I don't have a lot of time. Hurry up. Run over here and suck my dick. <laughs> hey. Get in the U-Haul like, quick. Quick. Babe, that was a test. Why don't we pull over to this Walmart and you can see what's up. And then we'll <laughs> <laughs> Just <for> guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> I jumped at that. I like jumped up. Ah, that was so awesome. Just Holy to see you get scared. shit. I felt good. like a fucking R word back in the 20s that saw the train coming out the picture and it moved, you know? <laughs> like when the fucking movies. I the fucking first freaked out. Isn't that wild, dude? Yes. That was awesome, huh? Yes. Oh, God. Yeah, this is a good talk. What? Did not see that coming, huh? It's in and Excuse out, too. Me. Oh, oh, oh shit, dude! That squirrel attacked her. Is it a quite squirrel, a vertical, right? right? Yeah, it dude. Jumped out those from things the can jump. Well, on. he just had some in and out. He was full of nutrition. Full of nutrition. He's strong as fuck. Everybody, I just want to remind you that you are the main character, and you get to decide what happens next in your story. So make it something exciting. Don't let anyone else write the ending for you. I love you. This is Joel Osteen's uh, Cube. Oh, God. I get so embarrassed for people. Yeah. You know? This is like Inception, too. I want to see that guy's feed. Yeah. The guy in the thing that's looking yeah. into the camera. Yeah. His TikTok must be insane. Really crazy. Jesus Christ. <sighs> so he was giving inspirational wisdom in the middle of a Walmart, like shouting it. But what's people. the difference between this guy and like, for instance, when we were out to dinner the other night, I was like having a cigarette. Take it easy, fuckhead. <laughs> and I saw a girl walking in, in Beverly Hills like doing this kind of like talking into the ca camera uh -huh. like that. Well, the difference is she's not screaming her message to it still is weird. Unwilling and people. It's weird as fuck. Yeah. But like these people are just trying to go about their day at Walmart. They don't need your inspiration. Mm -hmm. You know, 
it's kind of a do you think that's assuming. do you think that's what people think they want to video Bert when he's in Walmart and he's like, "Hey guys, what's oh up?" Like he's God. doing his because he's, he's loud so, when he does he's it. But he's not so screaming. Camera crazy. <laughs> he films everything. He's good at it too. Like he does it like almost like in a way where he's not bothered by doing it. Yeah, he's. And similar. I'm always like admiring of that because I'm I'm always like <sighs> I gotta go hide in this corner to do my Instagram video or something. Yeah, I'm like you. I'm not I'm not as comfortable as yeah. he is. No, he's just super. out in the up. He's like, all right, I'll do it shirtless in the middle of a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> I could, yeah. yeah, I couldn't even take my phone so out and look at it like that. Yep. The differences between male and female serial killers. You, Males typically kill for sexual gratification, whether that's psychological or physical, and their victim's identity matters less. They typically kill strangers. In contrast, 90% of female serial killers know their victims, and they tend to kill for practical or justifiable reasons, at least in their minds, with the most common motivation being financial gain. See, this dumb twat doesn't realize sexual gratification is a practical reason. That, first of all... She's not a dumb twat. I really enjoy her talks. I'm with you. Sexual right? gratification. That's yeah. the most practical That's reason. That's super practical. I'm spo- what am I supposed to do? Not come? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. To well, what's, her pra- what's her idea of a practical reason? Oh, they wronged me? Yeah. Can I tell you something? Of all the talkers I follow, I really like hers because they're all random information like this. Like, she'll tell you how to survive a, a plane crash or an elevator falling. She's pretty dark. How, do, how does she say to survive an elevator falling? I forget. Jump up, jump up before it hits the ground. One of those. I don't know, but I forget. It's I really don't like good. her. She's cool. <laughs> Isn't that neat that women kill for money and men kill for sex? I mean, and, that's not news. And yeah. men are indiscriminate killers. So you guys are like anybody, any anybody will yeah. do. Women I would venture like, to say that's m- more heartful than the women who kill people they know that is very heartless how could you kill someone that you've spent time with intimately yeah because then you really really mean it you're like i'm gonna fucking kill this motherfucker. yeah that, i think that's worse than not yeah. really mean oh it's I, I think harsh. indiscriminate is way worser because no. you're just like i don't care i'll kill this person who did nothing to me dude at the that's McDonald's. the way to do it you wait at the fucking greyhound you just see someone walk <laughs> off and you grab them yeah, or you just like that's so unfair. Yeah, I know that's that's fucking life. You walk yeah, by a, wild. You walk by a guy sleeping in garbage, and you just <laughs> no one's gonna miss that guy. But that's what I'm saying. Where where's the like big crime there? If yeah. it's like the guy sleeping like yellow feather, yellow yeah, feather. he'll be like thanks. <laughs> yeah, he'll be like me after I jump off the 101. He'll be like yeah, thank you. It's a good move. No. On that note, guys, thanks a lot for uh, watching and listening. Don't forget to check out Roach Motel Tuesdays at 6 a.m. here on the Your Mom's House YouTube channel. You can also listen, rate, review, subscribe on iTunes, listen wherever you listen to podcasts. And don't forget, November 20th, we have the next YMH Live. Tickets are on sale at ymhvirtual.com. Uh, do not forget to get tickets ahead of time if you don't want to deal with the mass influx on the the day. Uh, our closing song. Can I plug a couple dates? Real of quick? course, of course. Because uh, this is the last. These are the only shows I have for 2020. So please come out on Sunday. I will be at in Phoenix at Stand Up Live. So uh, you can get tickets for that at J underscore Potter on my Twitter at Josh underscore Potter on Instagram. The link for that show and all the shows is up there. The 17th in Nashville, the 18th in Huntsville. So those are my only shows for 2020. Let's get tickets. Let's, Let's do go it. Get. get your tickets, Josh Potter. And uh, closing song is YMH Tune by Beats by Manolo. Put it in the See this put it in the Put this chick up on.
Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.